everybody it is your boy the panda pandemonium as always we got well most of the crew <laughs> as always we got both here we got rod uh gentlemen here yep how's it going how's it going going good chilling chilling we here that's what's up that's what's up uh as always we are here to just chop it up and see what's going on what happened this last week um like we told y'all we promised we was gonna try to keep the you know our regular schedule up and going so we here <laughs> despite yeah. everything life we are here. Life is um life. you're right life be life and bruh life be life, life, life. Be life. <laughs> big facts so we're gonna go ahead and get everything kicked off uh we had a couple of movie reviews i know that we'll get into probably a little bit later um We'll wait to see if we can get Jay in line and everything. But for now, let's go ahead and start talking up on um, gaming. I know we had had pop off here recently, uh, the demo for that. So let's go ahead and pull that up really quickly. Ignore the game. I was just, you know. Doing a little bit of gaming hey. while we're waiting on everybody. Stress, not all day. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm puzzle games be addicting. Man, I'm I am notorious for like bejeweled games and stuff. Uh this one that the one that was up there was um was a frozen free fall, is what it's called, frozen free fall. And I've been stuck on this level probably for two years now because I refuse to pay for it. But <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like uh, yeah, but the, game, like the game is great. I'm at level like 250 something somewhere in there. Uh, I appreciate it, Jumbo. You said Jay's on the way. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, 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 Jumbo. Good you, man. What's good? What's good? What's up? What's up? Uh, but yeah, so we had our wonderful Rob Be the Wind playing this. The other day and so i'm just gonna drop this in the background while we chop it up about the game um if y'all want me to throw the audio on i can but i figured since you're gonna be you know talking i ain't want to put it over you while yeah. that's going right and i don't know where i compensated that on this so but from what i played this is a very different take of final fantasy from what i remember final fantasy being mm-hmm. like and we had like had like some royal family it was like you went back and forth it's like you started with like one person and then you flash back to like the other two-thirds of the game so mm. like it's pretty much a demo just teaches you how to move how to fight and then the climactic battle is this giant kaiju battle where you're like a phoenix and i think you were battling burke i forget the guy's name in front of the one the big guy the big um and Final Fantasy saying he's the one that does the arm pose like this, like he does the crossed arms. I think uh, that was the, him. Uh, the, the Bahamut. Yeah, I think you were finding Bahamut. Uh, is this this the one? Let me see. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Yeah, it's probably towards the end of the stream. Okay. And this stream, if you guys do want to watch the whole thing, go check out Rod's uh, Twitch channel, uh, and that's where you can find this. Is what this is where this stream is coming from. Actually, is from his Twitch channel. So you can go watch it there if you guys want. Ah, right, here's the fight. Here we go. Phoenix versus Icon of Fire is what it looks like it says. And as you can see, I am. Oh, that's the- cool. So you're I mean, the Phoenix. Yeah, I'm the Phoenix. What go wrong with a Phoenix? 
Here, let me go ahead. I'm going to make this bigger if that's okay with you. Yeah, go ahead. There we go. And as you see, I'm trying to aim and shoot. It took me to like the third time figuring out that that thing could, that you can just, like, once it gets close to the bad guy, it just autos, it auto assists, which I didn't uh, realize. Auto assists. Okay. That's why I look so, that's why I look like I'm like moving all over the place because I'm trying to find him. Right, right, right. And I didn't realize it autos, I didn't realize it auto corrects when you're, when you're close. Okay. But as you can see, I'm dodging pretty good. I heck, I mean, you've got half his bar gone and you haven't got hit at all. So that's because I've been playing Zelda. So my Zelda, my dodging is on point. The right dodges now. is on point. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> yeah. And I think this is the tail end of the fight. Okay. You just fight, fight, fight. And then you get to this mode where you have to, he jumps. And I think he does this giant, like, spirit bomb fireball that you got to, you got to knock him out before he does the fireball. It took mm. me two times to realize. I'm like, oh, I'm aiming at the fireball. I'm not aiming at him. Oh, so you can't knock it out the way. You got to actually just go for him and call it a day. Yeah, it took me, like, I was getting frustrated. I'm loving the stream. I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I knew I was at the last bit. I'm like, this got to be the end. I was going to end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> the second time because okay. like, I was getting frustrated. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, but the demo's not bad. It's about like I said, it took me two and a half, honestly. Two and a half hours? Yeah, two and a half hours, which is not too okay. bad. And then that's the main character, Clive, and then they just do like they're just showing you how to do how to fight. I like the fighting. The fighting's definitely like if you're more used to Kingdom Hearts, Zelda type of fighting. Okay. You're gonna like this, okay. And then you're you're pretty much just like a fire swords, pretty much. Like you got to protect your little brother. Mm. Pretty much the demo. The main guy with the big sword. His name is Clyde, C L I D E. That's his. That's his other sister with their dog. And you have another little brother, Joshua. I don't know why he named Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the dog should have came back and been like a summon. Like the way the dog was looking at you right there, it looks like he should have been a summon of some sort. <laughs> yeah, but but just like a lot of other Square RPGs lately, mm -hmm. beat the demo, you buy the game, you can pick up where you left off. I'm liking well, that's the So that's, I'm liking that's a trend. Yeah. I'm liking that's a nice my little thing. Yeah, hey, because nobody want to play that shit all over again. Right, man. Yeah, I, I know. That's however, so however, I have one thing about that, though. Like, there are times where, depending on how bad you played during the demo, because I don't know about y'all, but, like, when demos would come out, I would play them recklessly. You know what I mean? Just to True. see what True. I can do to mess up or, like, how far can I push the game or right, what right. tactics may work. And so you get to the end of the demo and you, like, SOL, <laughs> you ain't got no items. You can use the big stuff. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, I got to it. In that sense, though, no matter what, you can always start a new game. True. This is true. This so is true. if you jack up the demo, when you get the real game, you can start a new game. But if you do good in the demo, you got that option true. to just continue. Just continue it. That's true. That's okay. true. Like, yeah. Like I can use Octopath because I did the demo of that and I could streamed it from there. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't realize where I started at. I could have got one of the hitting jobs stupid early. I didn't even realize it because I didn't explore. Oh. When I went straight through. I was just walking around. Right, right. And I miss. And if you watch me play Octopath, I missed a lot of obvious turns in that playthrough. Now, <laughs> look, as many options that you have in the game, it's like playing Mass Effect. There's no way to go through each and every one unless you're doing a 100 percent completion run and yeah if you do that you would have been there you're still playing that you would have still been playing <laughs> yeah that. like i kind of decided like i'm fin i just got one i think maybe one two more areas left for the main mm -hmm. story that's it i know there's a secret boss from the first game you can fight that's optional mm -hmm. i'm good i'm good Right. I didn't even finish. I didn't even finish the first Octopath, so there's, there's no incentive for me to do it because it's <laughs> it's, a, it's the last boss from the previous game. I didn't beat the. Right. I didn't finish. No. I didn't complete the first. Not that I didn't complete it. It's just I didn't finish the secret boss from the last game. So why would I go? Right. I why go back it. through that? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. 
So, like I said, this might be, I might stream this, but probably when I come back from New York, probably. Okay. Sounds yeah. like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, but this is good. It's like they're talking about crystals, something about crystals and nature. They didn't go too much into detail, but the red guy um, on the ground, that's your father, too. So, okay. So, yeah, the king, and, and you see the queen in the demo, too. He's like the big guy, big honcho. He's the one in charge. And he has three kids. So, Joshua, yourself, Clyde, and then the, the daughters. He has three kids. Ah, okay. Got you. The mother only really cares about the youngest kid. The others, like I said, they didn't go too much into the demo about the family really dynamic, but if yeah. you play, you can kind of pick up on what they're doing. On oh, what's going on with it. Okay. Like, oh, you can tell there's some favoritism between the parents. I'll leave it at that. Cool. Okay. Okay. But like I said, they, like I said, that's action time. So like they have something here where you can it'll let you know what you need to do in the game. So if you like practice the Bless you. the what's it called? The mouse pad part of the PlayStation controller. I'll let you know all the story. Well, as you see, I'm doing it right here. But give you like characters, who they are, things like that. So that's going to probably be useful for a lot of people who get lost. A certain Nintendo franchise can use that, but that's another story for another day. But I'm still, I'm still, yeah. I'm not even 25 percent yeah. done with Tears of the Kingdom yet because I've been <laughs> on Octopath. But Tears of the Kingdom, like I said, it's good. It seemed, as you can see, and you're seeing a perfect example of me not knowing how the hell to get out of some place where the door is <laughs> right there. <laughs> like I'm Zoro when it comes to these games. He's like, this is a perfect example of how not to get how to get lost in a room. <laughs> like <laughs> your greatest enemy, the door. The door. <laughs> Why is it that in every game though? Have you ever noticed that? Like when you first play a game, your hardest thing is either finding the staircase or opening the door. <laughs> you know what? Every time I play Resident Evil, the door will be out there to get you, bro. Man, it's like truck coon. <laughs> <laughs> Semi trucks and doors. I'm telling you, truck will be out here. Don't be don't, and don't let them combine. Like I just want to see a scene where you, somebody goes into a room. It's a dead end of doors and trying to go through, and the truck is just slowly inching up the driveway. That's not like some Mario or Sonic would have did by now. <laughs> right, right. That nigga Caleb City said, "I'm in the house." <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you can't That's get away hilarious. from truck home, bro. As you, you see, no, I you finally really found cannot. the door. You cannot get away from truck home. What up, Jay? What up, Jay? Yeah, hold on. John, what they do, like it does show you where to where to go. Like I'm trying, like where's my bedroom? I know it's up here. This is the same oh, thing wow. I'd be struggling with with Zelda. It's like I know where to go, but then the map doesn't do me justice. Well, I gotcha. swear, every time. I think about wearing my UU shirt and I go, you know what? I'm not going to wear it. This nigga <laughs> end up wearing it, bro. <laughs> and I'm so happy. I, I feel like it's like that ace connection. Be like, nah, your ace is wearing it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> I swear, bro. Every time I like, I take it out, I iron it, and then I'll be like, nah, I'm going I'm to switch it. And today we got high Q on. But I'm okay. like, okay. Every time I do it, because I be ironing that bit. And then some be like, nah, don't wear it. And then this nigga show up and he got it on, bro. Man. Today is brought to you by Karen. I'm trying to commit, y'all. And Stella. Okay, Karen, okay. Got the, got the classics. Got the and classics. Canada Dry. That Canada Definitely. Dry. And Sonic. And Sonics. <laughs> now, nah, I already finished mine. I had. Okay. Man, so yeah, as y'all know, but it's it's done already. It the pink lemonade, gotcha. Mm -hmm. I'm on water over this way, so I'm on. It's water. just water, water, water. water sucks. It really, really. Now, let me stop. Wow, <laughs> water boy. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a while. Ah, so it. just so y'all know, uh, it is supposed to release in two days, I believe. Yeah, I think it's sixteen, right? the twenty second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it comes out on a weird day. I thought it would come out on a Friday, but uh, it comes out on yeah. Thursdays. That's Thursday. Yeah, yeah Thursday. Thursday. Um, now we'll come back because I got a couple of things for Final Fantasy. I want to just just drop in, but another thing that's also going to be on the twenty second is Kadancha's uh, K manga release. Uh, their Ooh, new site. Let me put this out. Hold up. Do 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 circus. 
I was wondering when it was coming out. Where's it at? Oh, I got the site. That's what it was. Ha ha. Here we go. 22nd. Kanachas K Manga Party. They're going to do a launch party on stream on YouTube. It's already scheduled for 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, okay. It's already scheduled and set in YouTube. So if you find it, or actually, I'm going to drop the link in the chat here. But uh, go on there, sign up, so that way you get the notifications for when it drops. Uh, and then I will also, if I'm free, I will try to stream it here as well um, for us to kind of talk about it with you. Hey, hey, how's it going? Appreciate you swinging through. What's good? What's good? What's up? Uh, so, yeah, they're supposed to be, that's supposed to be on the 22nd. It's supposed to be their launch party for their manga device uh, from Brazil. Day. Hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm going that direction. We expanding, man. That's international. There you go. I love it. I love it. Uh, so yeah, look out for that. And like I said, keep an eye out. Like I said, I'm not sure what I won't know until the day of if we'll be able to do it or not. But even if I'm not there or we're not there, make sure you check this out um, and see what they've got going on. It's supposed to be their release, like I said, of their manga. Um, reading device platform rod what's the other ones that are out there that are really big i know crunchyroll has one crunchyroll and shonen jump and the shonen, shonen jump, jump and this media no. too but this Invisible. is kind of yeah. like this inky is on switch. i mean yeah inky on the switch i think ink pen or something like that on switch okay okay oh, I know gotcha that. okay. i i personally i i kind of use some of the underground stuff so that's why i don't be throwing it out there like that i'm a Shame. bad person i know i, I know Show the jumps only two ninety nine. You can pirates for life. <laughs> it's our generation. We grew up in the pirate era. We, yeah, we did. We grew, we grew up in the pirate era for real, for real. Like that was the great pirate era. Pay for it with your mini shirt. Know. Technically, Say it again. When you get the switch, you can get the. Um, I think it's called either ink pen or inky pen. Okay, and it, it comes with the family pack, or it comes with the um, membership. Oh, okay. the switch. So technically, it's free, but it's not. You know. True, true. Free, and free I pay for Crunchyroll, so I mean, you know, there's that. We all do, <laughs> right? Is that it's that guilty that guilty habit of ours? Like, yep, I pay for Crunchyroll too. Ain't that? <laughs> yeah, it reminds me, I got to watch um Doctor Stone the last episode for the season. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so yeah, just wanted to, like I said, throw that out there real quick. But back to Final Fantasy, um. There is nope, that's that Final Fantasy 10. They're supposed to be making a remake of that coming out in 2026. So, heads up, it's, it's early, they're just talking about it right now. We're not Ten sure. Is the one with Sin, right? Yep, if I'm not mistaken, it is. Yeah, that was the first Final Fantasy I ever played. My suit, okay. So, yeah, they're supposed to be doing that, and then the, the way they're talking about it, from what I've, I've read and looked into. Um, so y'all know how they did Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? Yeah. And then y'all know how they did Crisis Core right after that. So right. I guess they're supposed to be doing Rebirth from Final Fantasy VII mm. in t- next year sometime. Kind of along those lines. Um, but w- I, we don't know yet if it's going to be a remake of it or like an actual change of how the gameplay is. Because Crisis Core was more of a re, like a remake of the how the old system was, basically hopping off of how Seven went. Um, so if they're doing it that way, there's a higher possibility of them finishing it next year. You know what I mean? Yeah, Versus yeah. them trying to incorporate new things into it. Just personal, you know, thought on that one. But so I think we'll. I think next year, if they do release Rebirth, that is what's going to determine. Um, how it's going to look for two for 2026. True, that, that makes sense. sense. That makes sense. That might be closer to PS6, actually. That would be surprised. Right. Right. And so that's that's an easy um, what they call it uh, release date exclusive. That's an easy possibility for an exclusive if they wanted to do something like that. But how much of, um, like I, I, I never played Final Fantasy 7, but mm-hmm. with the remake, how far did they get in the game? I swear I remember hearing someone they only did like 
I know the game was like four discs. They only got to like disc two or three, if I heard correctly. I'm not sure. There were, it was a three disc series for Final Fantasy VII. When I, man, I remember, whew. So (laughs) going through them discs felt like decades of time. I kid you not. Um, I haven't gotten to the end of Final Fantasy VII, the remake yet. So I don't know. But as of right now, it seems like they've done the majority of it. It looks like it's on track to have the actual full three disc thing. Because you got to remember also, we didn't have Blu-ray. And that's the reason why it was three CDs. You know what I mean? So because a Blu-ray, I think, is like seven, eight CDs as far as data goes. Oh, um, and that was initial Blu-ray technology, not now. So, oh, oh God, that's trying to. Oh my God, oh, shoot. right. Ten might be easy. I mean, ten was one DVD wrong. So, right. That's what I said. You got blue. We got Blu-ray. We got all this other stuff now. So one CD is going to be enough to cover whatever yeah. um, at this so, point. Um, but the thing is, I wonder if they're going to do the same thing they did. I wonder if they're going to take away the turn base of Final Fantasy X. Well, they did it for seven too, right? They, they did. This- I'm, I hope they do. I mean, it's still turn base ish, only in the idea that you have to select who you're attacking. Um, so you can't just randomly walk up and whoever's in front of you, you hit. It's got to be whoever you're locked onto. That's who you're going to attack towards as you're okay. playing. Now, if someone happens to get in front of you, like as you're swinging towards that person. Then yeah, it's gonna catch him. Because um, ten was so, like the whole game, the whole fighting is, is turn based. I can't seven. They did it. They might be able to do it. I I'm not a game designer, so I can't see it myself. Uh-huh. But ten was so strategic with the turns. So I don't know if I would take that away. But I know, but I know turn based. A lot more people would like, like we just mentioned Zelda, and then we just mm-hmm. saw the sixteen devil. I know turn based is more of a thing of the past. Set of I know turn base a lot more people. Do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, turn base. Yeah, turn base is a thing of the past, unfortunately. I hate to say it. So, like, I'm not, I don't know. Turn base can be used well, I think. Um, I think it just depends on the game type. I'll be honest. Yeah, it depends ten, on the game type. Ten, I can't see it. The way this, the way I remember the story for seven, seven definitely looks like it. It, it worked better without the, the turn base, from what I. Oh see. yeah, definitely. Without the turn base, it, that was definitely the easiest way for it to happen. Um, y'all see I me? think that we can see you. I'm in front of the mode though. Nah, you're sitting still. You're frozen. That's cool. I'm on my phone, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can hear you still, though, so. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. trying to hear me. My beautiful face. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's going to probably be. <laughs> so, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, 2026. Man. That's going to be the big thing with 10. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's going to probably be. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. I mean, I this franchise, I think. Day. Say it again. So I know I was late, but happy Father's Day to everybody. Oh, you as well. Yes, Somebody about the dead sooner late in your life. <laughs> yes, to everybody watching, happy Father's Day. If you are a father or a father figure, definitely happy Father's Day. Um, well, if anybody you're enjoying your day. day. One real Uh-oh, quick one, one real quick thing on a serious note regarding this. If you are a father or father figure, father type, father influence in someone's life, make sure... Uh, two things for me one take your time for yourself remember you were a person you were you before the kids came before the wife or the husband came before any you were you before all of them and in in being a, a parent sometimes you lose yourself in the kids or in the relationship or you know what i mean things of that nature so do yourself a favor take some time today but also throughout the year to be yourself to enjoy the things that you yourself that you know before they came along that you were able to enjoy you know do that and help help yourself decompress and and unwind because eventually 
it's gonna break you if you don't. <laughs> you know, five days too. Right, and you can't, you can't, you can't fight everybody else's battles if you in the corner crying from your own. <laughs> so, just keep that in mind. We love you. You know, we rooting for you, we're praying for you. You know, whatever you believe in, we hope we hope that you know it gives you strength continuously. Uh, because it's a lot out here in this world on the day to day, and that's we outside of your world. fathers. Right, <laughs> so that's that's out that's more outside these walls than inside the walls you can control to a Somebody leader. Somebody has to, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, take some time. Just just keep that in mind. That's that's my one word of wisdom for the next year for the next Father's Day. Make sure you take some time for yourself at some point. And right. Right. All right. All right. All right. Off the serious stuff. <laughs> um, quick question. Go for it. Are we gonna do the reviews today? Cause we still skipped over them last week. Yes, we are. We were waiting we on are. you. Okay. Uh, give me like ten. Like, gonna do what you know. I'm headed to the crib. Uh, I'll talk oh, you're to good. Wife, you got something planned, and see see where we go from there. I might do the review and head out. Okay. All right. Bro. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, well, while he's doing that, while he's talking about getting set up and everything, I do want to do. Uh, we did have some. Um, we had a passing uh, recently this this last week. Yeah, this last Damn week. It, <laughs> what it mean? I don't think this one was right. I don't think this oh, one was right. I'll give him. I won't give him credit for this one. Uh, oh, Mr. Ruben Moya. Uh, oh, I thought you were going to say Ruben Stutter. No, <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 no. Ruben Moya uh, is a legend when it comes to dub voices in the uh, with Latin and Spanish speaking uh, countries. <clears throat> so he covered. When I say this man is epic, like I'm just gonna put this. I'm gonna put this picture up here, and I'm gonna let y'all understand what this man did for the culture. What's some respect on that gentleman's name? Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. respect oh, on this man's name. You better put some respect. He man, General Zerg, Bubbles from Stitch. Bubbles. Okay, that was the big one. Yeah. <laughs> Baloo. Baloo. Uh, what's his name Conan. from Mulan? Shao. Uh, was it Khan? Shao Khan. Khan? Shao Khan. I, I can't remember. Khan from what, Mulan. From, oh, from oh, Mulan. Mulan. Oh, Mulan, I think you were thinking Mortal Kombat. No, 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 no. From Mulan. Um, the, I forget Neocon. his name. The Dark Lord guy from Guardians of the Galaxy, that first movie. The Ooh. idiot with the hammer. Him. Ronan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that guy, Ronan. He did him. On top of that, he is the person who did the voices for most of, like, the deeper voice Actors, so like Morgan all, Freeman. Listen, when you the Spanish version of Morgan, of Morgan Freeman, Freeman, right? That's it. That's, that's all you had to say. Like he was the Spanish Morgan Freeman. That's like he did Danny Glover, John Goodman. He even did Schwarzenegger a couple times. Like he was that voice person. Oh, I gotta he, him to get to the top. Out. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's who it was. But um, he did pass back on June twelfth, unfortunately, at sixty two from throat cancer. Peace. Damn. Uh, so rest in peace, you know, to him and his family and his fans, because I know they are hurting oh, right now. You know that. Yes, mm-hmm. hurting. So, uh, but yeah, you know, hopefully, like I say, hopefully they they do well and they're doing better as time goes on. So he's in a better place, as I say. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, there was that. That was Mr. Ruben Moya. If you don't have, if you got the time, look him up. Again, Latin legend in the dub game. Um, he also did some stuff on Dragon Ball Z Super um, as well. Yeah, yeah he so, was a narrator. He was a narrator for Dragon Ball He was Paranga and the narrator. Yep. Paranga and oh, the narrator. Wow. So, um, other than that, not a passing, but it is kind of a, a moving on type situation, is um, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. I don't know if y'all know Mr. Pat. Uh, oh, Pastor Jack, Jack. Of course, yes, man. he is leaving Wheel of Fortune after 41 seasons. This will be the yeah, 41st isn't his, season. His daughter taking over, or something? I believe that's so. the rumor. That's the rumor. Yeah. That's what's said so far. So, 
Yeah. Uh, so that'll be that'll be the thing uh, that's coming up here this next. But he's gonna be leaving. So I'm wondering if Vanna is gonna be leaving or did she already leave? No, Vanna's still there too. Well, she's still there. there too. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm wondering if she's gonna leave when he well as he's leaving. You know what I mean? Or how mm-hmm. they're gonna do that? Yeah, but... it wouldn't it wouldn't be the same without both of them. Oh no, no, probably not. They, I mean, come on, you—they've been working together for. Nah, shoot, they go together. They gotta be together. That's a lot. That's, that's they gotta replace her too. Yeah. Talk, look, that's work wife for real, for real. <laughs> oh, you what? <laughs> right, like I didn't know. I didn't work, been working with this person for longer than we've been married, or I've known you. Like, come on now. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. But yeah, um, so shout out to him. Hopefully, uh, his next steps in life are great for him. He gets to sit down and enjoy uh, watching somebody else. You know what I mean? Do yeah. his show. So hopefully, he can enjoy that that time there. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I know I saw an article on IG uh, somewhere. Someone was mm-hmm. thinking about potential hosts. The best one I heard was Snoop Dogg, and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I want it. I want. I, I want, want that. that. I'm I not mad. This is Snoop Dogg, Guy Fieri, um, Jeff Foxworthy, the article said. And, Ooh, um, Jeff Foxworthy would be good, too. I'm not going to lie. No, I was like, I, I read that. I was like, Ooh, that's a good one. I, I can see yeah. him doing that. I can see him doing that. I can see him doing that. I could. I would prefer Snoop, definitely. <laughs> or like a guest host, just a guest host. I wouldn't want him doing the whole full time, but like a guest host, I would see it. Or probably what they're doing with Jeopardy now. They got um, Ken Jennings doing the more regular version, and then um, what's the name? Blossoms doing more of the celebrity ones, but they uh, kind of go back and forth. I don't know if they're doing that for Wheel of Fortune, but I don't. I can't think of who would replace both of those icons. I would just end the show, but they're no. No, I wouldn't say end it, but definitely it being a, a new show. a new thing on its own. You know what I mean? Um. It being its own show at this point, yeah, is what I think. Uh, because like it's it's gonna be a whole new vibe, you know. Oh, yeah. No matter what what you do, it's gonna be a whole new vibe that they get to. So, but like, who would you pick? <laughs> like, if you could pick, like, Ooh, if I could pick anybody to do Wheel of Fortune, let me see, me. let me see. Uh, for Wheel of Fortune, he said me. Did you say me? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm not mad. The wordsmith, bro. I'm not mad at it. Job, job security, <laughs> 41 years. That, that is job years. security. If you do it right, you're you're in there clearly. <laughs> um. Ooh. John Leguizamo. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Leguizamo. Different. Yes. And then who were playing? And then to host that, like to do like the the letter. The, the like the letter person um to keep it in the same vein i forget his name what's his name oh shoot oh let me let me think i gotta find i cannot remember his name yeah i more. got it i got go it go ahead the 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 girlfriend from white man can't jump but whatever, what's her Ooh. name? Maria Lopez or whatever. Rosie I can't Perez. remember her name. But... Rosie Perez. <laughs> Ro- yeah, Rosie Gomez. Okay. That's her name, right? Rosa. Rosa yeah, Rosie. Rosie. Ro- Rosie Perez. Perez. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Huh. And number she that. Play- in that she played a Jeopardy character, so it'd be a perfect like just switch over to the next game. You know what? Because I, I, I feel would... like she would compliment John Leguizamo, bro. I can all, see that. That would be like doing all Latino. I can see where you're going there. I see that. I would say I'm just thinking about the article. I do like the Jeff Fox way. I can really see that. That'd be a good, that'd be a smooth transition, too. Okay. So this is not who I was thinking initially. It's not who I was thinking initially. But if you have Legos, I'm gonna be the the take Pat's job, right? Right. I would have Trey Hill take uh Van White's. Trejo. Yes. Who? Danny, Danny Trejo. Trejo. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. No. Yes. That would be no. a parody movie. That would be a parody. Think about it. You know he's not gonna walk that way. He's not gonna walk all the way down there. 
he gonna look and like shoot something at it from across the screen. He's literally gonna be knife throwing. At That's the what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a whole new vibe. You do that on a celebrity edition, but that is hilarious. I'm just saying, you know that would be funny. <laughs> I would do one. I think I I doubt either one of them would do it, but I remember uh, I say Steve Harvey. I'll just throw Steve Harvey out there. I doubt he'd do it, but no, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't do Steve on that one. Nah, nah. Steve had too much stuff. Nah, nah I, I wouldn't do Steve on that one. But if um, I had to, but if I had to choose. You know what? Because she's not hosting anything right now. I'll go Leslie Jones for Pat's job. I'll go Leslie Jones. That's what in the article. Okay. I gotta like that. Okay, Ooh, I'm with that. Leslie I'm with Jones. That. Now for it's the interesting. So Who we'll you have gonna like, her with though. That's the problem because I want to keep it as a guy. I want to kind of switch it a little bit here. Oh. So you mean? I like having the one chick, one dude thing. Anthony. Yeah. Who could who like you need someone like that? Like you need a pretty boy, but it can't yeah, be, yeah, gotta be a pretty boy if you gonna put Jones over there. So put uh put Tyrese. <laughs> who put Tyrese? <laughs> you know what though? I, he would go with he would. it would work. Like, it would work. I'm done. It would work. You might make him cry though. I mean, I'm just saying. Come on, you gotta admit that that would work. She yes. might make a she. She might I'm be like, "Hey, man, you you turn <laughs> the letters too slow, right?" <laughs> and then you know he gonna pause and be like, "He had a look on his face that he has, like, all right, whatever." <laughs> oh man. Oh man. But yeah, that, that would be good. Okay, okay. That's funny. <laughs> uh. Okay, um, I'm back. Um, well, let me back think. Trip. Let me think. Hey. Let me think for another guy. Um, All right, we'll do one more. Yeah, I can't, I can't oh, think of a guy. Hey, hey, let's see if Jay. Let's see if Jay can do one. Who would you pick to re to be the new host <clears throat> of Wheel of Fortune? New host of Wheel of Fortune. Yep, we just said Leslie Jones and Tyrese. Um, I said John Leguizamo and Danny Trejo. He's crazy for that. Um, <clears throat> dude, I'm telling you, it would be hilarious, though. <laughs> you would do that pairing just for a Oh, what's the ages we looking for? You got to find another sneak. Yeah, whatever. No matter. Whoever. We're just um, saying, who would you pick? Who would you pick? Let's see. It's Mark. It's, it's let me come show. up with two. Uh, let's see. If we coming up with two, so are we gonna do guy as main host, girl as main host? It's, it's up to you. It don't matter. Up to you. Matter. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna give you one each. Um, I'm gonna go. Do y'all remember cousin Skeeter? Oh, I know Ooh. he's. Oh, okay. I know exactly where he's going. The guy from cousin Skeeter. Yeah, or the I'm guy from. Know. Yeah, him okay. as the main Ooh. host. Okay. Just because okay. I ain't seen him in nothing in a while, and for All the right. girl. What's the girl name we were talking about today that was in um, band camp? Uh, I forgot her name, bro. Y'all remember American Pie band camp? Yeah, you yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. The, uh, the leading girl. girl. From How I Met Your Mother? Allison Hannigan? No, no, it's not Allison Hannigan. What was the movie she Ariel had? something. Ariel Allison. something. No, it was Ariel something. Hold on, I think I still got her. Oh. Well, she was, remember that. John took a must die the main girl? Nah, I'm drawing a blank. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all a picture. I got one. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got wait, it. Wait, wait, I'll go mine because she oh, yeah, came up with a, a good one for I the just, for I the guy host. She came up with a good one. So I gotta credit her with this. So we'll keep Leslie Jones as my host. Okay. The male guy, one of the Lawrence brothers. Okay. I can see that. Okay. <clears throat> I can see that. Because I can see. Okay. Cause they might have good banter. Those two might have and one of Lawrence was in Leslie Jones. They might have good banter with one another. I like that. But sure oh, chicken Jay. I didn't, oh, I didn't oh, hold on. I gotta stand in front of it. All right, take off. Oh no, I don't recognize her. Oh, I don't know her name, but I do it's on uh, Elise Houston, I think. That's what it looked I don't like. Know what but uh, her okay. as the you know the showgirl, uh, no, take that back. Emma Stone. 
Okay. 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 Now flip it for my woman main host. Just because I like how she react and talk to people, Kiki Palmer. Okay. I love her. Okay. And as the guy can't candy, Jason, Jason Chan. I mean, how you say it? Magic Mike. Yeah. Channing Tatum. Oh, Channing Tatum? I, yeah, I was saying Jason Palmer Tatum. And Channing Tatum. Okay. Huh, interesting. That's a I can see that for like a celebrity. I can edition. see it for us. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Okay, okay. Okay, check me out. Check me out, right? I'm going to go host Columbus Short. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Right, and then watch this. Sticking, listen, sticking with the, the Vanna White, like how she compliment, but also the way she looks, okay. I'm going as Zoe Saldana for the letters. Wow. You know what? I like that. Too. Hey, I see you your see Zoe. It? I see your Zoe and raise you a Gabrielle Union. Now we're talking about dreams, celebrity, mm. world, fortune editions. Now this one. Let me think. Of, let me think. Let me think. Columbus Short and Gabby. Hey, if you want to keep it as a couple, you can just D Wade not doing that. No, I don't want D Wade. <laughs> you said D Wade ain't doing nothing. Do you know what? Wait, wait. No, he Jay's on to something, right. there. No, Jay's on right. something there. No, Jay's on to something today. No, Jay's on to something there. Wait a minute. He's on to something. Okay. Okay. So. I don't think Wade's going to do it right. Maybe yeah, Chris nah, Bosch. Maybe Chris Bosch. Maybe I don't know. He's too animated for me. That's, okay, I'm, I'm gonna All think right. about something. We'll come back. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. Uh, we may do it. We may do another thing uh, similar to this later. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make some notes on put that. Put a pen on yeah. this. this. This might be fun. This just make gonna, a yeah, list of game shows, and then we'll just do random who we think. Yeah. Yeah. Is. Put a pen on that one. That's yeah. Pin that. We gonna make it a whole thing. And we got a whole year to figure out who the co-host is. Who knows? We might we might end up saying it correctly too. You never know. Hey, well, we we don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> um, all right. So let's go ahead. Let's hop into our uh, our stuff before before we get into the movies. One thing for the movie, I do want to bring up, and this was just kind of a, a quick a quick pick thingy that I had ran across. I did not know this. Um, when it came to Detective Pikachu. The reason why they said Mm -hmm. they didn't put Oak in it is because they were they had always planned for Robin Williams to be Professor Oak, Mm. and because he passed, they never put Professor Oak in the movie because they were like, "No, we don't want anybody else." Yeah, that was who they had planned. I can respect that. I can respect. I can see him as a that's a good choice. Oh, he would have been a great Professor Oak, yo. Oh yeah, most definitely. Just to see him interacting with the Pokemon like that, like dude, that would have been that's a missed opportunity, man. It would have been like when he was Peter Pan. You know what? You know what? what? I see it. It would have been epic. It would have been epic. I would respect that. That would have been a good choice. I could just see him interacting with Pikachu. Like, he was so. Think about like early Ash. You know what I mean? Like when he first got his first starters, Mm -hmm. dude. So yeah, Um, he's so a Bulbasaur guy. Oh, definitely. I can see him being a Bulbasaur guy. I mean, he he was he was huge in Legend of Zelda. Like he loved Legend of Zelda, right? So, um, oh yeah, for sure. Didn't he name his kid after Zelda or Link? Yep, yep. Yeah. He did. But yeah, so just just a heads up on that one. But let's go ahead and get into this movie. Which one do y'all want to start with? We got Transformers, we got Spider Verse, um, and we got Flash. Okay, let's do Spider. Let's do Spider Verse first. I was gonna ask. Well, okay, did you see Spider Verse? Well, okay, I did good. not. Yeah. It was. Well, it's been. T- Super thunderstorming over here. You know, I guess it. Look, I'll Orlando, buy it's it's hurricane season, bro. Yeah, oh, I don't miss them times. It's, it's, it's storming right now. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't miss those. But yeah, yesterday I literally got dressed, and as soon as I grabbed my keys, I heard <laughs> lightning right in front of the the den. I said, "Oh, okay." Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I got so, one time. Uh, I guess we're no, not doing that. Yeah, one time, like, Bogat was One time I was at City Walk. I'm about to head back home. 
thunder. I had to sit there like two hours waiting for, for the storm to pass. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Luckily, it, I was it in really the, be like that, bro. Luckily, there's Starbucks. I'll say that for a two hour delay. Luckily, so, there's Starbucks. Um, we gonna we gonna talk game. about. We gonna Y'all talk know about I don't care about spoilers. So like, okay. Yeah, so I haven't watched that. it either, but again, I'm not worried about spoilers, so y'all too feel we'll, free to go ahead. And- since, since, since y'all haven't watched we're going to try to keep like the good stuff under wraps, because it's a no, lot. It's I'm a lot. Because I'm going to still enjoy it. True. This is also but, true. Um, the movie was amazing. Um, I heard. It's good. From the soundtrack to the looks, the different art styles, like the story, the way they're telling this story cinematically is uh-huh. amazing. And they can go so many routes with it just by how it start, and even to if they want to go live action, just from this how they how this movie came out, they can do that. Yep, surprisingly they were able um, to throw some throw throw some things in there. Surprisingly, so nice. if you know your multiverse, <laughs> just think about it. The cameos are amazing. Mm-hmm. We haven't had this good of cameos since you know. The legendary Stan Lee left us. Hey, okay. but the cameos okay. this movie was immaculate. I would have loved to see an animated Stan Lee. They could have did it, but I'm glad they didn't do it. Uh, but, it would have been, right, right. been a bit bad taste. It would have been a yeah. bad taste. Um, yeah, spoilers alert. You got to put that up. Um, there you go. The story of Miles. like You can interpret this so many ways, but the fact of the matter is he is his own Spider-Man. All, majority of the Spider-Man are named Peter. Right. He's the only spider variant. Well, not the only, I'm sorry, not the only, but he's one of the main spider variants that we know about that's not named Peter. Mm-hmm. Or have the blood of Peter. And right. when you think about it, the two Spider-Men that come to mind, well, the three that come to mind that don't have the name or the blood of Peter is Miles, Miguel, mm-hmm. and um, Punk, Hobie. Mm-hmm. Hobie and Miguel. That yeah, so those three and those three stand out the most in the movie. Mm-hmm. Ah, Ooh, I like this. Okay. And, and even to the fact, I you know, after I see a movie, I, I look it up on TikTok, see everybody take on it. It was something right. I didn't even know. But after I like went back and watched certain scenes, um, to make people walk and look like they didn't belong in the movie, they uh-huh. um they changed the frame rate of certain people. So you had oh. Miles' frame rate at. Like, I think Miles was like the base frame rate. Then you had Miguel that was a little higher. Then you had right. Obi, I mean, Ho- Hobie's that was low, was the lowest frame rate. Frame rate. And he, like, I just anytime he's like in the scene, scene, you can just see that he's standing out in that scene because of his frame rate. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I, okay. I saw a TikTok about that. They said out of all the spiders, Hobie was the trickiest one to do because they wanted to keep that effect. Yeah, it was like, like three, I think right it was three times than the, the other people. Because you yeah. had Miles at one and Miguel and them at two, then he was at three, which is very noticeable. You'll notice it, like how he moved. It's like yeah. it wasn't just smooth. It was just like, yeah. And then even the cameos of the spiders, even who they had in there. I mean, the most surprising one out of the spiders was the PlayStation Spider Man. Because I was not expecting that. That was a nice. Oh, that was a nice. Wait, that was a nice. Not oh nice wait, not only the PlayStation Spider Man, all three of them. Well, mm. Shut up! Don't say so, that to me. So, so the new one, the, the one that y'all have now, right, right, right. The one from back way back when it was on PlayStation and Xbox. Yeah, okay. when, when, the one, when the web balls look like actual balls and shit. Yeah, and then the one from PlayStation One. Oh. Then you had, then you had multiverse. I had all of them. You had uh, MCU cameos. You had the okay. Sony two Sony cameos. They talk bad about Doctor Strange and um Tom Holland. <laughs> like they deserve bro, it. Low key, they, they did. It. I feel that. I feel that. Respect. Um, Respect. If I'm not mistaken, they even hinted towards um Loki. I gotta go back and watch that scene again. Okay. Yeah, there but, is. Um, yeah, I, I believe you're right, Jay. I think it was a hint. <laughs> it's a little, it's a one as a blink and you miss it moment. I think. So, if y'all watch Loki, you know the name of the um federation that he's with. What is it called? Um, the time, the time was it time bearing authority? TT, like TTA, yeah, TTA, the TTA, yeah. So, he oh, is real, saying, like, for those show? of you watching, shot drop in the chat who your favorite spider character is if you've seen the movie. 
Ninety eight percent of people gonna say Spider Punk. Ninety eight percent of people gonna say Spider Punk. Yep. Um, Homie stole the show. Yo, all I can say without like I'm trying not to tell y'all too much. Um, right, right, right. Can we say one that's not in the movie? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Who's my favorite, I'm pretty, my I'm favorite pretty, I'm pretty sure he was in the movie. My favorite Spider Man is Scarlet Spider, bro. He's in the movie. He's in the movie. That's what's Shut up. up. Don't all of them are in the movie, bro. Huh? There you go. All of them are in the movie. What the heck? Shut up. Don't say Scarlet that. Spider is wait. Yeah, Scarlet Spider is legit. Wait, 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 wait. You all of them like Cyber 2099? That's Miguel. That's Miguel. That is Miguel. You right. <laughs> There That's you even go. one. There was one in there that I didn't. Yeah, I'm telling you, whatever day anime... is Josh Norman, I'm in that. <laughs> I'll put it to you like this, vocab. There Wait, was is, one he, spi- is he one wearing spi- the vest with the cut off arms? Talking? I don't remember. That, that's uh, he. I don't, yeah, he actually get beat up, but yeah, he. he <laughs> the I ain't gonna tell you about who. It's not Miles. I'll tell you that Miles didn't do it. Okay. The best one I think was there was one Spider Man. I was surprised he was in it, but I love the joke they used with that Spider Man. And Jay, you could probably figure out which one I'm thinking. Of. Oh man! You gotta give me a hint. There was a lot of them. The one where it's the Spider Man that didn't move, and it was an animation joke because of how the animation <laughs> yeah. was. Back I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. So, um, if really? you are a Spider Man fan. Um, this Spider-Man movie is probably the best Spider-Man. It explained a lot. It showed a lot. Um, and somebody last night, I, I forgot to send it to y'all, but last night I was watching somebody's take on uh, Spider-Man uh-huh. and his explanation behind it, like, opened my eyes to something. Mm-hmm. And to the fact that in the movie, they're saying miles of the anomaly. But then the he was like... The anomaly. Oh yeah! Wait, so oh. in the movie they're claiming Miles to be the anomaly, oh. but if that was the case, it's been a whole year since Miles was bitten. Neither his world or the world of the Spider-Man that was supposed to have been bitten right. has has changed in the way that everybody else's world has. But Miguel changed for like a day or two, and the world collapsed. Right? Mm-hmm. And he was explaining that, and I'm like, that makes sense. Miles was supposed to get bitten. It yeah. was supposed to happen that way. It just, yeah. it's it's a lot. It's a lot. I um, yeah, but, I think yeah, Miles was supposed to be a Spider Man, but the spider, the spider was going to bite a Miles. Put it to you like that. He was supposed to bit a Miles, but the the thing, the grade I get this movie is a hundred out of ten, bro. It, no, lie. I have no drawback. That's what it sounds no, like, bro. Oh my bad, I had one drawback. That it was a freaking cliffhanger. <laughs> That's my only drawback. Oh, oh. You did tell me that. Yeah. Honestly, it was, that, it was a super cliffhanger. I was waiting. I thought we had another forty-five to an hour left. I'm like, okay, we got another forty-five an hour. <laughs> He's like, well, no, we got some more time. This is about to throw about with them three-hour um, boys. My, this is my take. I like where it's going. I hope it goes where I think it goes. Okay. And it, it's it's one like animation of Spider Man we really didn't get. We saw one of them, but we didn't get this one. Uh-huh. And if the movie goes the way I think it's gonna go. We should get um, Madam Web, and we should get the original yeah. Spider Man that we know that we know at our age group. Right, the, um, the one that actually yeah. the one that we the only one that we know to meet Madam Web, the Peter Parker right. from the uh, the uh, Amazing Spider Man. Uh, what was this? Right, 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 right. What was yeah. animated? It was an animated Spider Man animated. Yeah, yeah. Spider Man, Spider Friends. Yeah, no, no, not Friends. Okay, okay. You, you look old. I forgot you look old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all you talking about. You, you talking about yeah, yeah. I know about Spider Man. That's the Spider Man. I know <laughs> about it. I know about it, but I'm talking about the one with the, the same art style of X Men ninety seven. That was on that was no. around that time with X Men ninety seven. No, Penn has a point. I don't think we saw that Spider Man either. I don't think we saw that Spider Man either. Now that would be yeah, interesting <laughs> pulling. He will, um we did see him because it was in the fight and when on um, after we went through the building, he was the one that was swinging that was like in front, <laughs> you know, the front wing. He just got that his leg kicked up. Oh, he that's just got him. the kick in. Yeah, okay. That's him. <laughs> oh, okay. there you go. We oh, we got Spider Rex, um, and we got Spider Cat. Okay, okay. If y'all don't know the story about Spider Cat, I will not tell y'all. 
Oh, that speaking is of tragic. Cats, that is speaking tragic. Of, yeah, speaking of cats, I mean, while we're on this subject, I mean, um, in the Peter Porker universe, they actually introduced the Miles variant. They just introduced it. Yeah. So it's, I think he's called Meow Morez or, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so he just he just so debuted. He just debuted just in the comics. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jay, I just thought of something because this just happened in the comics. He, uh -huh. they came out. You know, in Peter Porker's universe, they just they just debuted the Miles Darian in the Peter Porker universe in the comics. Oh, really? So he might be in the next. So Miles might have some help. So. I think he's called Meow Morales or something like that. I don't remember the exact name. I saw the picture somewhere. Oh, wow. oh, so um, the I pay attention to the um what happens between Miles, Gwen, and Peter B. Um, I feel like that's gonna play a major role in what happens next because um at the end of the movie, the cliffhanger, uh, we saw the OG Spider um uh, Into the Spider Verse friends. Okay. And they added uh Spider Punk and what was the, the Indian Spider Man? I, I can't remember his yeah. name. I, can't and I think it's another it. and the um the girl. It's another okay. girl that they add to the team to go help on um, Miles, but they don't know where he's at. Yeah, I, I can't remember. Yeah, it, the club no, was like no shh, the girl knows. Yo what? Uh -oh. I think Jay just figured out something. Okay, super spoiler. Miles is trying Rick to leave. Thing. Miles at the end of the movie. Miles is trying to get back to his, on uh, his universe. Right, 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 right. Okay, he uses it's a machine that they send bad guys who got transferred out back to that universe. So he tried to use a machine to get back to his universe. The machine sends him back, and everybody try to go back to find him. So everybody's like at his house. And then come to find out he's not in that universe. He's in the universe that the spider that bit him was supposed to be in. Mm. Right? Uh, universe. Leave it at so that. Just, leave it at that, Jay. Leave it at that. No, I'll just this this is this is okay. I'm not gonna tell no more than that. So okay. when he gets ready to dip to the universe, it was only one person that saw the screen before he dipped, and she's on the side to help him. So that means she knows where he's at. Oh wow. now you see what I'm talking about. I see what you're talking about now. The, uh, I'm ready for the next movie, man. Next, you need to come on. Next, you need to come on. <laughs> Actually, honestly, I wouldn't mind watching both of them back to back. Honestly. Now, this right here is something that I saw come up as well. God damn oh, it. I did see did. that, yeah. God damn it. Oh. They did both of them. No, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Carter Strickland sent the whole time here to the grave with all the same known cards. So, I don't it. know. Uh, I, I haven't seen it yet. All I know is that looks like his uncle's suit. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's going to be a problem if that's the case. Looking like vampire moths out here. Right. Here. Looking like like a, like a killer blip. That would be a good... So... Damn. I just thought of something now, but go ahead, Ben. I just thought of something. Quick no, 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 no. I was just saying, so that could be something that that pops up, but I, I have, I happen to notice it, so I wanted to, you know, hey, run it past y'all. No, because in the com, I remember, they, I think it, it was like maybe two or three years ago, they did like a Miles. What if, like, what if Miles was Wolverine? What if Miles was Captain America? Yeah. Excuse me. And you know, I just thought of it would have been. I, I don't know if they did this as one of the Miles What If comics or not, but what if Miles was Blade? I just thought about that right now. Oh yeah, yeah. They might have did it. I'm not sure. I'm just, I just popped my head right now. So, uh, so, all right. So, I think we did a decent job. Y'all did a great job of talking we about that and job. not spoiling too much of it as well. So, I appreciate that because I'm a little bit behind. Y'all know I'll be behind when it comes to the movies and stuff. So, I'll, I'll be apologizing. Nah, it's, all, it's all. It's all good. It's all good. Like you like life and. <laughs> life be life in bro that's that is the phrase for 2023 i'm telling you mm -hmm. um but let's get on to the next one this one i did see Transformers, and that's this Ooh, okay we're oh, to this bro. one now. in the skies transformers now first can off I, can i'm I, a huge can, transformers fan can i be honest go for it can I kick it? If it wasn't shirt. for the very end of this movie, this movie would not get a high grade as it got. 
Wow. The okay. that's, okay. a bold, okay. that's a bold strategy, Cotton. That's a bold, that's a bold comment coming out the gate. Go for I, it though. Why? Bro, the move, like first, first of all, I hate when they do so many prequels to a movie, but like now we're looking at think about it. The Shia LaBeouf three was it three movies he was in? Uh, the Shia LaBeouf yeah. three movies. Shia, no, Shia LaBeouf, I believe, was four. Was it four? I thought it was just three. No, nah, I think it was four. Let me no, look it three. up. No, don't forget about Matt Damon. Was it Matt Damon? Or Matt not Damon. Matt Damon? Oh, um, um, Mark Wahlberg. My yeah, bad. Mark Wahlberg was in three two. as well. He was two. What, what, what the hell? I, I'm sure he oh, was. I'm I thought it was three because he was in Last Night. He was in um, the one with the Dinobots in it. Dinobots? The yeah. dino, um, the dino Dinobots song. came in, yeah. Grim Jaw and all of them. I don't know if I saw okay. that one. Well, here's my take. Um, I don't mind movies like I don't mind prequels. We have what three, three or four prequels? Two I know we got B. B was a prequel. No, you're right. Two Age of Extinction and Last B. Night. No, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no, wait. for Mark Wahlberg. Sorry. Oh, Wahlberg. Okay. okay. Oh, but um and then what was there was the B. B does not count. I'm sorry. Oh wait, no! Yeah, wait, one, wait. three. You no, know, this is a new time. He was supposed to do the fourth, but he backed out. I forgot. Yeah, but how many prequels was it? B no, count. B no. does not count. No, no. B no. B wait. started restarted the timeline. B restarted the timeline. It counts. It's still a prequel. I'll listen. Because I'm this listening. is this is. So my thing is, you doing all these prequels, but we don't. We have it to where. None of them was mentioned in the other movies. Even if they did like a slight mention, a half mention, that would have been cool. That's one thing that kind of, like, if you're going to do prequels, have it to where the prequels are, you know, in the other movies. But I get it. I'm trying to tell the story. Uh, no, I heard other. I heard otherwise. I thought from what I was, well, from what I heard, transport, Bumblebee restarted the, restarted the series. So Bumble is Bumblebee and then this movie. That's it. The Bay movies don't count anymore. That's what I heard. For what? For Transformers. So, so the current Transformers timeline is just Bumblebee and this. That's oh, what this I heard. Is another, yeah. So this is another timeline. I heard that. Yeah, thing. this is another timeline. So Spider-Man fucked up that bad that it messed up Transformers? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? All the timelines is jacked up, bro. <laughs> All the timelines. I mean, we got he one other stuff. Spider-Man messed up that bad. That it jumped the timelines, yo. You know what? I mean, Marvel did print Transformer comics now, so Jay might might be on to something again. But I got one pet peeve, and that I, I, I just noticed it when I was coming out the movies today. But the soundtrack, if it was for Transformers, yeah, I just I didn't I didn't realize it I was, was not movie. memorable. I will say that. It was not memorable. It fit the movie. Was it, was it in the right era, though? That That's my concern. It was like one song, I think, shouldn't have been played just because of the year it was. And I hate to say it, because it was 94. I don't think Juicy should have been in the movie. I didn't realize until I was in the movie today. I was like, yeah. Oh. I didn't realize yeah. I was in the movie. I'm like, wait, this is 94. Juicy came out night. I mean, not Juicy. Um... What's the name of that song? I, it? I forget the title of that song, but it's the Biggie song in the movie. That was from Ready to Die. That came out in 99. 98, 99. That shouldn't have been in there. Biggie? Okay, okay. So from a music buff standpoint, I get what you're saying. Got you. Okay. Oh, you said Biggie? Yeah, the Biggie song. That was 98. That wasn't 94. The no, I think Ready to, Ready to Die, I believe, was 96. No, the song they usually came out with the second album. That wasn't the first album. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the second album. The second album. Yeah, I didn't realize it. I'm like in the I'm like waiting to come out the movie and I'm hearing the, the biggest. I'm like, wait a and it, I didn't catch it. Um last uh, uh, so that it, came out in ninety four. The album Ready to Die yeah. came out in ninety four. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about saying because what year did Biggie die? No, I'm talking about the Biggie song died that in played. No, 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 exactly. yeah. No, y'all mixing it up. The song that they use uh-huh. shouldn't shouldn't have been out yet. Right. Okay, yeah. It was, it was in '94. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they should have picked another Biggie song. Yeah. They picked um, Ready to Die. I can see that. I can see that. So he was that's, a, that's a light. That's a light nitpick. That's a really light. Well, no, I mean, that's a nitty gritty thing. No, definitely. 
Yeah, it's something like if you're not into it's 90s hip hop, you wouldn't have caught that. You wouldn't even know. No, no, you wouldn't have no clue. For the most part, it would have blended for most people. Most of the other music soundtracks were definitely before 94. Those songs would have been out. Most of the songs have been out. Hey, Bobby, what up, man? How's it going? Appreciate you swinging through. So if you attack him, um, so I'm gonna say this. That would have been different. All right, so I can agree with what you're saying about B restarting the timeline with Transformers, the way the storyline is is going. Okay. Um, because if you look at how Prime is acting now, this is like early Prime. Like he's not as confident. He doesn't have his his battle ability sucks at this point. Like he's getting bodied left and right. Right. This is like. Okay. New from Cybertron Prime. You know oh. what I mean? Yep. Yeah, like okay. this is like he just got here on okay. the planet and they've been here for maybe mm-hmm. less than a decade, Prime. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um the fact that okay, one, I hate B. The movie. You say you Not hate Bumblebee. B? No, I love B. I love Bumblebee. Oh. I hate the movie B. That's what that, that's what I thought. Yeah. Understandable. Understandable. I was just trying to make sure. Movie, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Bumblebee is the goat, but <laughs> as far as Transformers go, make sure I heard it correctly. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. I love Bumblebee. Bumblebee is the ride or die that everyone needs. Right. In their life, period. <laughs> like he's a core bar of the Transformers. School. He's cool bar. Right? He is. He he really is. Like, he is. That's that's big. Get that run up and get it done. Like you said, what? <laughs> Hold on. You, 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 you said what to who? All right, bet. <laughs> and like, the way he Bumble came Bumble. back, and the way he came back, I was like, you know what? Oh, oh the theater me. erupted when I was watching it. The theater erupted <laughs> when that happened. So was it was like, hilarious. Okay. I was like, okay, be back. I'm like, be back. I'm like, okay. Oh uh, yeah, you know, you, it had to, it had to happen. It had to. I was hoping for so okay. A couple key gripes about the movie. One, I wish that they had all of the Maximals. They only put in three, four. Air Razor, who came later in the series, if you all know, if y'all watch Beast Wars or you know know that area, that era, you know that the uh, I forget his name, the dude, the wolf with the wings. Yeah, he would have been there with Air Razor. Oh, okay. Because they were partners, literally. Okay. So they did. They brought in Air Razor, but didn't bring in him. And he was like at the tail end of the Maximal era. Oh. They didn't have Rat Trap, who Rat Trap was the main reason I wanted to see the Maximals. I'm not gonna lie, because he's a smart ass. You know what I mean? Like he's that quirky. Like ah oh, no, we're not doing this. That dude is crazy. Like he's that dude. <laughs> um, I'm glad you said that because I wanted to say something. That have to do with it, but don't have to do with it. Which yeah. is, uh, if that's his, I uh, still am waiting for Beast Wars the movie. Thank you, thank you. You may continue. So they didn't put Rat Trap in Cheetor. You didn't get to see Cheetor for who he was. Yeah. Cheetor is like the juvenile kid in the group. Mirage. Here's why I feel this was Thor Ragnarok all over again. That is what it is. Mm. In uh, Thor I'm Ragnarok, he, no, I say that to say this: Thor Ragnarok was Planet Hulk, but they switched it to make Thor the Hulk. Mm. Right. So if you know Planet that. Hulk, you know that it was supposed to be Hulk versus Beta Ray Bill in the arena. Hulk was the one who crash landed, coming through. Say it loud for the people in the back. <laughs> instead, they make Thor come out and fight the Hulk. Right. The Hulk was supposed to be the savior of the. He's supposed to end up beating the um, headmaster, saving the planet, finding his wife, and then coming back with his son later, uh, Scar, or his son coming back to avenge him later in um, after Civil War. Which we've already seen Scar now, and so that's a whole other thing that they've screwed up in the Marvel timeline. But we're not going to get into that at this point. We're on Transformers. <laughs> we on Transformers. <laughs> right. So. That's what I say. I, I think this was a Ragnarok all over again. Mirage. The character of Mirage is how Mirage was. I would give him that. However, that should have been Cheetor. For this to be a Beast Wars movie, that's Cheetor's personality. Mirage and Cheetor would have been best friends. Because they were that's like they, that. Huh? 
That's why they had that interaction. Right, but they had like one word up to each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Cheetor said the one thing they they he's like, oh my bad. You know what I mean? Like that was it. That was all that he said the entire movie. That's my first gripe. Then you don't have the banter between Cheetor and Rat Trap because Rat Trap wasn't even there. Rat Trap was the conscience. He was that annoying conscience in the back of your head of like yes, I can. he was that he was that book smart versus street smart conscience. You know what I mean? Rat Trap was like, nah, bro, that don't look right. Like, we're not going down that dark alley. It's a dark alley. That's Rat Trap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um I was thinking, well, I'll admit Beast Wars was a little I stopped caring about transplant around the Beast War era, so I wouldn't have known that honestly. I you said you didn't care about the Beast War era? <laughs> that came out when I was in high school. I gave up like I did some stupid stuff my freshman year of high school. Y'all so. heard that correctly, right? <laughs> I let it go. I didn't watch Beast Wars. What do you want me to do? I didn't watch Beast Wars. I want you to get off my podcast is what I want. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, just kidding. Wow. <laughs> I did not watch Beast Wars. Honestly, I did not watch Beast Wars. I think when it came on, I was a freshman in high school. Honestly, I, mean, I feel you. I was a freshman in high school. Yeah, I, I, feel, I, feel, I will say I this, though. In, in, in hindsight, bye. it still bye. held the test of time. Like, you could go back and watch Beast Wars right now. And apart Go from watch older Beast graphics, Boy, it's After still one piece. a decent one. It's still a decent show, right? For the age, for the era, it's still a decent show. I would say so. You would have some fun with it. Just put it in the background. I will say that. Oh, um, wait! Did they have some Beast Wars in this movie? So yeah, the Maximals are in here. I was about to say because I keep hearing you saying Cheetor and Rex Optimus Prime. Like, Cheetor is in it. Rhinox is in it, and Air Razor is in it. But that's it. But we got, but we got something though. We get, we barely. Okay, okay. You tell me. Describe Rhinox to me, because you've seen the show. How would you describe Rhinox when he starts fighting? When he gets pissed and starts fighting, describe Rhinox. Nigga, that that's that that's a a a, a walking behemoth, my nigga. That's that's lights out right there. <laughs> This, this what's mess, his gun? Go, what's his, you, what's his weapon you. of choice when he starts this, going to town? This, 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 this is what I got you right now. Rhinox is is Joe Lewis. I mean, right. not Joe Lewis, Joe Frazier. Right. Okay. Now, Rod, have you you say have you seen the movie? Yeah, I've seen the movie. Okay, would you describe Rhinox as a Joe Frazier type of dude? I can see it, Joe Frazier. I can I can see it. Right, but they but it doesn't look right, right? In the cartoon, when Rhinox snaps, he snaps. When I said I was waiting the entire time for Rhinox to transform and go ham, dude. When Primal said Maximals, maximize, I was sitting there like, please give me Rhinox. I'm waiting for that gat. This man carries a gat. Like not Tommy gun gat, like Submachine gun, suburban commando, Arnold Schwarzenegger gat. Wait a minute. What was the rating for this Transform movie again? Was it PG or PG 13? Uh, I don't remember. I want to say 13. Okay. So I'm wondering maybe 13? I can see that being censored out if it was like PG 13. Dude, like as many guns as they have on this show, he comes out with two submachine okay. guns, like, like two Gatling guns in each hand. Like he just holds them in one hand a piece. We've I seen worse than that on GI Joe. <laughs> I feel that. Speaking of which, you know, we'll get to right. That. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. But I'm just saying, like, and they gave him, they gave him a a, a warhammer, and I'm like, eh, okay. But that's something you would have given Grimjaw. You know what I mean? Like that type of prehistoric weapon. That's something you would have given an older body. These the Maximals are from the future. And they came back. So there's no way they wouldn't have more advanced guns. Wait, so what they gave him? A Gatling gun? No, they gave him a Warhammer. Oh. And they gave Cheetor a spear, bro. Do you see this man laughing? Now you understand? (laughs) They gave Cheetor a spear, my guy. And see, this is my thing. I've never been a big Big Beast Wars fan, 
but I watched it enough to know, like, to know that y'all, it y'all, 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 y'all missed the point somewhere. Y'all missed the point, right? Like, but so, it, 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 hear, hear me out. She on with a spear is crazy. He, hear yeah. me out though. Yeah. The end of this movie, like I said, the end of this movie is what made it for me. It did. If, if they if they do what I think they're gonna do and revamp the movies, I think they're gonna revamp so they can do a crossover, bro. If they so do that, bro, know that's historical. Y'all do long long overdue. Is historical. Long overdue right? yeah. in the movies. Long overdue. So this is a spoiler. So if you want, plug your ears. Is it really Mate, a spoiler? Look, hey, you know wait, 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 no, it, no, it is. People, it is. It is. Most people have no clue about this. Hey, well, before you do that, make make spoiler alert huge because this is really a spoiler. Because that 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 went by fast. Look, let me help y'all with this. Uh. <laughs> y'all see that? <laughs> right, alarms and all. So many have no clue about this. Ready? And if you know about this before we say it, or before you watch the movie, it'll make sense. Drop it in the chat. Let me know, because so we can see who are real. You know, say who our people are here who right. who've been watching this for years. Transformers and GI Joe have been a crossover since '86. Sir, since before I was born. No, right after I was born, they finally brought it to fruition on the big screen. About damn time. So was a great year. Eighty six was a great year. So the the fact that what he said finally mixed. What you he just said? He said eighty four was a great year. He said eighty four. I'm trying. Eighty four was a great year. I ain't go. Eighty four was a great year. But the fact that they they finally linked those two together. They have now merged Transformers and G.I. Joe. Finally. That synced everything. If you think about it, the suit that he wore, right? I forget the main character's name. But the suit that he wore, if y'all remember Rise of the Cobra, it's based off of, that's the first of what those suits that they wore were based off of. I just didn't get all the effects. Right? Right. So when Janet Tatum and uh, Wayans had that sh- those, those suits on, those mech suits, mm-hmm. they were based off of Transformer technology. They was based off of the suit that he used in the movie. Yep, exactly. Because if I'm not mistaken, he the one who made them. Yeah, right. exactly. But when I um, yeah, exactly, it, it dawned on me when I saw old dude in, in the interview, I'm like he looks so familiar. Then I saw the GI Joe car, like, yo, yep, <laughs> yeah. Yep. The wife was like, "Really? Oh, like, yo, I like she. She like going to the movie with me when I have my geek moments. Yeah, and, yo, I, I really had a geek moment there. <laughs> I was like, yeah. okay, when I'm like, why? As soon as I saw, I'm like, okay, where's the GI Joe movie at? Now I'm waiting for that. Oh, I want that. We'll see what they do from here on out because that's gonna be a whole. That's gonna be a whole thing. Because yeah, that them humans are gonna definitely come back and hey, probably the GI Joe. Hear, hear, hear me out. If they do this right, bro." It's gonna rob it's gonna rival Marvel MCU. Oh yeah, oh easily. Oh, oh definitely, no doubt. Easily. And what? that's the only reason why I agree with Rob when he said that B reset the timeline. Because now you've got a younger, a younger version of Prime, and mm-hmm. you're gonna get to learn who Prime is. An, uh, 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 a Prime. Turn it to a teddy bear. Exactly. You get to see the man. But- oh, Prime <laughs> was a Prime was not to be messed with. She was that. she was like she was like why is he such an asshole like that prime was like that when he first came yeah. to Earth. He didn't no, like he nobody, won. he didn't trust he nobody. nobody. Yeah, go back and watch the first Michael like the first two Bay movies. He was he was a dick in those movies. No, he wasn't he wasn't as big what? in no movies he was in this one though. Yeah, no, True. he's they you've never seen unless you was watching the old shows or reading the comics. This is the first time on screen he's been this bad. Because normally he's like protect something, protect everybody. And right now he like, look, I'm gonna get Man, my I'm get home. Job. Get this rock. <laughs> that, that's, I'm out. I'm gonna protect mine. You gonna protect yours? Call it a day. You get in my way, I will stomp you out. My the thing was, I is, feel like I he doesn't have the truck to do it trends. though yet. Yeah, so think about it. Yeah, they, they you can tell they probably got there not too long. Ago. Hey, so uh-huh. I got a question. So we know Unicron's not dead. We know he's coming back. Of course. Um, yeah. My favorite 
I might get a lot of flat for this. My favorite um animated series was when they had the um mini cons and the swords and stuff, like when the people okay. could actually use the mini cons to fight. Yeah. I wanted to see more I wanted to like to see a glimpse of somebody like a Decepticon hiding in plain sight. And then like nobody not saying that because we know they're there. Right, right. They're there as well. The ones that follow. Like if we would have saw like Star Screen flying over and Optimus like said something slick, like we're being watched. Ooh, I like that. Like yeah. that could be the sequel. That could definitely be a sequel. And I and I really I want I want this one to be where we get the whole I want a Star Screen movie, bro. Like a legit movie with him. Wait. Remember what I just why? said? My my favorite, my favorite one was when we got the whole star screen thing where he tried to do his own thing and he didn't know if he was good or bad. He was like literally the Randy Orton of Transformers. This man, he he did okay. what he wanted to do. That I want that star screen. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. That analogy is <laughs> I was out there. Not uh, the Randy no. Orton of You gotta think about it. Orton, when you bro. think of Randy no, Orton, no, I get it. I get I'm it. About right. Randy Orton's yeah. never really been a good guy, but he's never been like just the most evil person. I get it. No, he's I always get it. That's why that's there. Oh, okay, a yeah. plus analogy. A plus analogy. I love it. But I had another oh, I had another thought after the movie, actually. Now I was thinking but about it. Uh, but I had another thought, and I've okay. been kind of pulling this in the back of my mind um, lately with certain voice actors and other shows. Uh-huh. I was thinking about Peter Cullen. It will make me okay. think how, how old he is now. He's 81. Excuse me. Okay. And my main concern is I would hate for him to pass before they finish this timeline. I would hate for that to happen. I was like, one of my first thoughts. Because it. it will make me think of Drat. Yeah. Like, and we just had the passing for the Spanish, um, the Spanish guy we mentioned earlier. Yeah, yeah, right. And I was, and it was making me think about Dragon. I don't know, Dra- I don't know why Dragon Ball popped in my head when I was thinking about this. Like, I was thinking about Masako Nozawa because she's about, I think she's a little bit older than Peter. Yeah, Cole. yeah. And I'm like, I hope he's in good health because I would hate for him to pass yeah. before this time. I, I need somebody. It. It's like somebody. We need somebody on standby. I feel like someone needs to be trained up. Into certain roles. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, it don't have to sound exactly like it. But give the, I guess, give the fans an alternate that they that that they slowly get used to. Right. As time, you're saying, inching into that. for Not for death, but for retirement. You know what right. I mean? Like, if, if the retirement ever comes, this is the person who will end up taking over that, you know, that type of a role or something like that. Um, because otherwise, it's a stark jump, you like, know. Like, honestly, if they didn't bring Colin back, this would have been a perfect time to test somebody out, too. It really would have, it really would have. But he's he's just been optimist so long, it's like. How That's Casey Kasem was he just like Casey Kasem was shaggy for all those years. You know what though? I will what take this though, take it with a grain of salt. Okay. <clears throat> that may be why they had to bring him in though. Because think about everything we're talking about. Again, right. the movie, I would give it still an eight. Yeah, solid, overall. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a, a solid eight movie. Um it I it the eight point five comes with the boost with the Joes. You know what I mean? I, that might push it to an 8.5. If they had not had Peter in it, that would have immediately been a seven movie. Right. I can see that. I think I that can. would have immediately dropped it at least to a 6.57. Just because you've already given us a different prime than what we're used to. We know we know it's still part of his personality, his character arc, quote unquote. We know right. that. But we don't have any of the old transformers we don't even have ratchet yet for crying out loud right and you just took him from us in the last movie still mad about that why they had to take ratchet out the way they did i I wanted to fight somebody but anyway (laughs) they literally blasted ratchet to pieces to pieces like you don't do that to the the medic like come on man anyway but you know right. they say take the medic out first. You know that's the old saying. I know, I know, but they waited till last. And when I say they ripped them apart, 
They ripped him a part. Man. Think about Naruto. <laughs> right. Look, they should have done that a long time ago. Yeah. But you always take the medic. You always take the supporter heal out first. That's why, true, he, true. that's why he's playing Elder Gods and Unite after the time. Like, they always come get you first. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> true, true. But yeah, movie. like I don't I think it would have been a different movie. I don't think it would have rated as well as it did if they didn't have Peter. Basically is what I'm saying. I don't yeah, think it would have it, it's, it's like a concern of mine. I'm like, uh mm-hmm. I, like I didn't think about it's like a dare to him. Like, oh no. I think I heard because I think I heard about that gentleman passing and then I was sparked yeah. the court. I was like, oh no. Yeah. I was like, oh no, like, no, 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 no. I didn't want to I didn't oh, want to think no, that way. No, 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 no. Uh and then uh, does anybody else have anything for Transformers they want to do? I did uh, like the uh, actors. I hope uh, the uh, humans come back. I did like both of them. I didn't realize who the girl was. Yeah. And so after I forgot she was in in, in that Hulu Beyonce. That's uh, power. The, same, the um the Swarm movie. That's the same girl. Oh, she was in Swarm. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I I knew her from Power. Okay, I didn't uh, watch with Power. Jamie Fox. Okay, I didn't watch that, so I didn't know. Yeah, that. she was good in there. I'm not gonna lie, she was good. She she's was the daughter, wasn't she? Yeah, she was in, in power for yeah. four. She's and a good, she's a good actress. Look, I read you a, said power. I'm sitting here thinking about the Fifty Cent show. I'm like, oh, wow. Empire? No, 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 no. That's the movie Howard. Power with Jamie Fox. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I saw that. Yeah. Movie. I definitely was thinking about the show Power too, Jay. Don't oh know. yeah, no. <laughs> no, I just know. Now, when you talk about the show with Jamie Fox okay. and the chick. Whatever. I gotta look that up because I don't think yeah. I saw that one. Yeah. But I, I, it was actually good. It was actually was it? for what it was. It was good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I like both the actors. So I mean, I hope they come back if they want to come back. I hope they come back. I, I enjoyed both. Of them. I did too. Uh, like they, the guy, I think the, the the chemistry between. I hope. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, the no dude problem. who played Mirage. I know his name. I forget it. Uh, the comedian. Okay. I have to look it up because I think I know who you're talking about. I have Say that again, name. David. Uh, no, 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 no. Was what, who we talking about? Um, the guy who I forget Mirage. his name. He played Mirage. Oh. Get his name. I forget his name. Pete Davidson. There we go. Oh, yeah, Pete Davidson. Oh, I know that was yep. him. Oh, yeah, Pete Davidson did Mirage. They said when he went in to do it, they changed the character to match Pete because he did so good. So. I right, sounds like it would happen. It should happen with another movie, but we'll get to that in just a second. Yeah, yeah. The theory I just threw out to y'all earlier. We'll get to that. So, but yeah, um, but yeah, that was that was kind of how that was. I yeah. I was happy with that that choice. Yeah, I, yeah, it's a solid eight nine, depending on your taste. I can get up as high as nine. Oh, uh, seven point five for me. <laughs> um, I feel that. It, that just for me. Like, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the movie. I really did enjoy the movie. And that, that whole wild wow fact at the end is really captivating. <laughs> this up here. Sorry, I'm trying to get this next this thing here. Yeah. But it just For depends reason, on like it does not want to come up. Yeah, it's like a solid eight. Like it's a seven, eight. Some might bring it a nine. Who knows? I can see between yeah. seven and nine right. It just it depends on what characters you can like. See it. Yeah, it depends on the characters, honestly. Like I said, I didn't know much about the Maximals. So I'm like, okay, cool, they're cool. Like, right? Yeah, it, it, it kind of depends on your what you know historically about them. Yeah, like I said, you I know. stopped watching Transformers around the Beast War era because like, I got I went to high school and I started getting into sports more than animation. So, you gotta give me a chance to say it. So, like, now I heard of them, but I just I never went to go look for them. That makes sense. Oh no, I understand. Yeah, but like I said, it's good. I mean, they got something. We got we got the GI Joe Easter eggs. We know we got a GI Joe movie coming, so we know that. You don't drop an Easter right. egg like that. You don't drop something like that and don't go come back to. Because I used, and people have been wanting these two franchises across for a while. If you know, you know. Like you said, yeah, you know. yeah, that's one of those. It was like the fact that they finally did it is is legit because that's something that like you said is definitely something that's been long awaited yeah even even with the bay uh, they, they tried so many times but it's like either i think it's the first time password got the rights to everybody now so it's just like 
and that's the other part of it too. Like you, yeah, that that whole rights thing. Mm-hmm. It's it's a tricky part. You got to get the right part. You know what I would no? Do they still? I just thought of another franchise that could probably jump yeah. into this universe. The what? Power yeah. Rangers. Yes. I think Hasbro still has Power Rangers. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Nah. Nah, that's not gonna link into this. Nah, it'd be fun. Maybe as a comic book. Maybe like live action. Maybe a comic. As a funny crossover, I could definitely see it. I could definitely see it as a crossover. Everything that'd be an interesting one. I'm surprised they haven't done Power Rangers and Transport. That seems kind of obvious now. Only because you can't get into the into the Transformers really. Yeah. And the Beast and the Dinobots okay. were not to be messed with like that. Like <laughs> okay. That wasn't gonna happen. Okay. Like if you if they saw somebody jumping into like a T-Rex, they're gonna look at them like yeah. Okay, let's put okay, let's put it this way. Grimjaw is a T-Rex, right? He towers over Optimus Prime by like a good another Optimus Prime. Okay, okay never mind then. Okay, never mind. I thought I had a cool. I thought I had a cool idea. Okay, never mind. And like I think I think like the Dinobots probably come up to Optimus's size. You know what I mean? Like mid to. I think the Megazord might be Optimus' the size. Oh damn! But the Dinobots tower over them. Oh damn! Okay. So never mind then. Yeah, that sound like a cool idea. Uh, nonetheless, <laughs> okay. I, I just remember Hasbro still had the power had the Power Rangers. That's a I, I just thought it would be a cool idea. Never mind. No, oh, no, no. I mean, don't get me wrong; it'd be interesting. But yeah. Now, uh, and then I now I haven't seen Flash yet. Have you? I know some of you all have. Who's seen? That I've one? seen it. I'm, Jay, have you seen um, Flash? No, I guess I'm the only. Okay. I'm, I guess I'm the only one. Uh, you want to hold off, or does anybody plan on seeing it this wait, week? Wait, I'm not gonna watch it. I don't care. So you can talk yeah. about it as much as you want, because okay. I'm not paying. Okay, I'm okay, not okay. paying to see it. I'm gonna stream it. And I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna stream it because I ain't paying for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So how so, so how far do you, you want to do spoilers or just general? How you want me to do? It's up to you. Spoilers. Up to you. All right, so out of ten, I give this a seven. Uh, Shanika okay. gave it a seven and a half. This is your okay. okay, so this was pretty good. The story's good, honestly. Ezra. So I guess what part of the story is it is it covering? It's a mix of. Like is it the intro? It's or? a. It's kind of because we know James Gunn is rebooting, so this is kind of like the last ride for the Snyderverse in some ways. Uh, okay. Okay. It's pretty much if you know Flashpoint Paradox, this is just another version of Flashpoint Paradox. Okay. So, like I said, CW's done it, they've done it. This is just DCU's Flashpoint in a lot of ways. Okay. So, Barry, he ends up going back. Like, if you've seen the CW show, pretty much the same thing. Barry's dad is accused of killing, killing his mom. Barry tries to go right. back in time and fix it, but Ezra's. Flash fucked it up more because Grandson's fucked it up. Like, he, like, okay. he really fucked up. Like he really fucked up. Like if you know, put it to you like this: this was a fun Easter egg in the movie. But when Barry goes mm-hmm. back after he fixes everything, he goes, he ends up, he breaks the number one rule. He bumps into his past self when he, someone knocked him out. Oh, wow. When he was going back to the present, someone knocked him out into to to the timeline. So he goes home and his mom's alive. Didn't think about what his younger self was be, be doing, so he bumped. He, he broke time rule number one. He bumped into his younger self. Mm. Oh wow! And the day he came was the same day he got the powers in the DCU. So he had to take him to get his powers, and he ends up losing his powers. Mm. So the younger Flash gets to, the younger Flash has the powers, and Barry lost his. Wow! So through three, four, like half of the movie. Normal Barry, I'll just say normal Barry, does right. not have his powers. So if you were you said half the movie, yeah, young Barry has it. Normal Barry, does oh it. wow! But he gets his powers back towards the end of the movie. He gets his powers back towards the end of the movie. That's uh, and if you, yeah, okay. and like yeah, said, that doesn't even make sense because if you had right. the powers like the as the young end, then you would have the powers as you grew up. This is DC. Dead. This is DCU in a nutshell. 
Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I because I thought maybe they would share the powers or do. I thought maybe like maybe one would have half the powers, the other like you just Superman red and blue. I thought they were gonna go so, something like that. Right. But yeah, so so Barry like okay, I need to find Bruce Wayne. So he goes to to the man. So he takes he takes his younger self and himself. They go to Wayne Manor, kind of find out. Okay, that's this is how Monkey Keaton Batman comes into play here. So this okay, okay. This is how gotcha. this is how much he fucked the timeline. He fucked up the time on someone. Gotham ends up being the safest city in the world. Holy! How do you do that? How? What did you me- like? What bug did you step on that broke the timeline in the world itself? This is crazy. This is this gets worse. So there's a scene where um, Barry and his younger self. So he has roommates in in, in his past self. When in okay. the present day he doesn't have roommates, so they're talking about who's in um, Back to the Future, and it wasn't Michael J. Fox; it was another person playing uh, Michael J. Fox role in Back to the Future. Okay, I forget the gentleman's name. Yeah, yeah, th- th- yeah. And, and one of and, and this movie got a seven. Oh, it gets better. Like I'm waiting to get to the seven right, part because. I'm hearing strong three at bats right now. All I'm going to say is 89 Batman saves this movie. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. 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 And Supergirl and Kara saves this movie. But Barry fucked up. Okay. Like, Barry really fucked up. I thought Guts Gressing Barry fucked up, but this is a monumental fuck up. I mean, look at it. He, wow. I mean, Michael J. Fox is not even in Back to the Future. How the hell do you do right. that? That's crazy. Right. Gotham is safest city in the world. That, that's the one that blew my head. Right here. That's not possible in any verse, like <laughs> ever. <laughs> so when they so when they go to Wayne Man, they find Michael Keaton. He's just like a bum. Alfred's gone. Alfred, I don't remember Alfred was in the eighty nine Batman or not. I don't remember. Not Alfred's gone. So they didn't wiped out Alfred. Penny, this is the crazy best butler right now, ever, bro. has been wiped out. <laughs> Yeah, like you can't kill that man. Like nothing can kill that like, man. Like Batman, like Bruce Wayne is a pretty much a hobo, pretty much. Like he's Peter B. Parker. He's got a Peter B. Parker at this point. Like wow. he's just got like the back hit. Like Wayne Man is just ru- not ruined. It's just like nobody's cleaned it up in a long time. You can tell, right? So like Bruce is just like he's just there eating spaghetti. And just like that's he's how to explain the time. spaghetti. That's how to explain time travel. I like honestly one of the good things this movie explain time travel and alternate timelines. I think a little bit better with Marvel with their analogy. Okay, so they use spaghetti as an analogy. You have to see the movie for it to make sense. I guess no, that makes sense in general. That makes sense. Yeah, the yeah. way Michael Keaton Batman explained, like, damn, Marvel should have said that with Endgame. Niggas do be eating spaghetti. I'm like, damn, Marvel should have used this for that game. <laughs> I'm more partial to Lavanya yeah. though. So. So, so like Bruce just leaves on the road. They end up finding the eighty nine Batcave. So, okay. So Batmobiles there. The old computers are there. Man. And then what ends up happening? And there's another way how bad how bad Barry fucked up the timeline. So you see how we got Kara in this movie and not and right. I noticed that. This is how bad the timeline got fucked up. So we're in um eighty nine Batman's. Right. Hold on, I got something for you guys. We got this at the movie theater for that long. 89 Batman. Is that Val Kilmer? Hold on, I'm about to pull it up. Give me yeah, second. this... Wait. I feel like that's Val. There you yeah, go. we got this. This is AMC. They have the Flash popcorn bucket. So... Oh, that's cool. It lights up. It lights up. <laughs> it lights... Oh, wow. Yeah, it lights okay. up. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so... Okay, but... That's cool. Yeah, so that yeah, so that's like if you're at AMC theater. That- I mean, that'll give it a point five. Right, the bucket, right. the bucket is worth point five. I give it a point five. <laughs> so we so have like, three point five right now. So pretty much, like I said, eighty nine Batman. A car kind of saves this movie a little bit. So getting back to eighty nine Batman. So we got Michael Keaton Batman right. here. So the two Barrys go down into the cave. They find a bat, and so they end up convincing uh, Michael Keaton to put the suit on one one more time. And okay. And what happens is Michael Keaton. That is Michael Keaton. The only man who's in DC and um, Marvel at the same time. Yep. Yep. But some respect on that man's name. So now we get oh, to this definitely. girl. Whatever happened this time, uh, now General Zod's coming. 
What? <laughs> yeah, General Zod. So they get there. The big news story is General Zod is here. So pretty much we get we got Man of, Man of Steel happening right now with no right with no Clark Kent. Yeah. With no Clark Kent. Great, lovely. Because and the, and this Flash definitely is not doing anything because he ain't even got his powers. Okay, continue. Okay, so they so bat so Michael Keaton yeah. Batman figures out. Yeah. So Kara, so instead of Clark coming to Earth, it was Kara instead. Oh, what you find okay, okay, out through the movie you. is that Zod and them is not implied, but I think they killed Baby Superman. It's, they don't they don't say it outright. <laughs> not so they caught him. They caught the man in route to her. Because Kara shot the kid out. So Kara says that they were supposed to come together. Oh wow! She said she ends up explaining like, yeah. Cal was my cousin. He was supposed to. I was supposed to protect him. But General Zod and oh. him intercepted the intercepted the um, pod that had baby Cal Okay. So they don't say what happened gotcha. to him, but it's implied they they just say it was intercepted. Yeah, they it, it's implied that they killed oh. him, but they don't say it outright. Okay. 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 They did. Okay, so they killed him. Like if you draw wow. if you draw conclusions, obviously they they murked him. Right, they murked the the kid in the, in the pod. And, and Typical Zod nature. I mean, Carl was yeah. pissed. Let's just say Carl was pissed, and it took her a little bit. So if you remember, I'm trying to compare this to the animated, like at the Flashwood Paradox. Was it the first? Right. Like it took Carl a minute to get used oh, to her powers. So just like how, of course, right, it took right. Her a minute. She. It took her a minute, and she ends up flying away because she just got sick of this shit. She has sick of Barry shit, and the. Uh, <laughs> of course. And the funny thing is, Barry's just this movie is just like Barry realizing how much of an asshole he is to everybody else. He didn't realize it. Because he's cursing out his younger so he's like, Oh, this is what everybody means when they say this about me. Like, oh wow. so he has an existential crisis because he kind of gets mad at his younger self for doing the same dumb shit he did. That he was doing right. So like you're yelling at yourself, but it's like, dude, you are him. You're younger. You're older. And then right, right. And then he was trying to teach him how to do the powers. The younger Barry is the one who figured out how to do the lightning strike. Older Barry didn't th- get, didn't figure that out. Didn't even figure it out yet. Wow. It, he gave him like the last bit to do it, but uh huh. But younger Barry had the. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I can't. But. Younger Barry figured out how to do the lightning shoot before older Barry did. He's like, "Wait, how do you do that?" Gotcha. But this movie knew how to shoot lightning. <laughs> like, how do you not know how to shoot lightning? That's a okay. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, so I definitely can see why you why you gave it what you did. Although the way it sounds, it probably should have been graded lower. Right. But but this is eighty nine Batman coming in the six. Right. Other than that, like that's the only thing that I can see. I mean, I is a benefit to this movie at this point. And, and it's key. And, like and Kara kicked ass too. The, I hope if James Young do bring Supergirl, they bring this actress back because she did a fabulous job as Kara. She's not, oh yeah, she did a good job. She's a good the actress. I would hope she comes back if James Gunn is going to do Supergirl. Hopefully, she gets a shot. I'm not sure what direction he's going to go in, but the actress playing Kara okay. did a good job. Like considering this, you know what she was in, considering everything. Right, right, right. So they end up so they end up teaming up together. So it's like, and then you find out oh other ways. Um Ezra um flashbacks up the timeline. No cyborg, no Aquaman, no Wonder Woman. Wow. So him going back to save his mom knocked out. Oh, so you just ruined everybody's life. Like not the cyborg though. The cyborg is a college football star in this time in this earth. Well, okay, okay, okay. At, at least the brother got the you get the, didn't get his leg broken all that so that's yeah Aquaman from what I was reading there's a post credit scene I found this out like before we came on here so Aquaman right. is around he like he tries to call Aquaman but his father answers the phone is like asshole I guess Thomas Curry didn't know that he had wow. a son but again they could have did what like I said they didn't follow Flashpoint to the T so. We don't get that whole Aquaman, uh, Aquaman, right. Wonder Woman relationship that calls the Civil War the darkness of the. We don't get that, so that that's okay. not that's not in here. We don't get no Thomas Wayne Batman either. So I'm gonna just put that out here. If you want to call wow. Michael Keaton, 
got you want to use Michael Keaton as like the stand-in for Thomas Wayne. Right. Oh. That's probably what we got. Okay, so that was good. And then they end up, so they try to find the you know, the rest of the Justice League. None of them are, exist because Barry fucked up the timeline. So you just got Batman, Superman, and two flashes. Pretty much all you got against Zod. Against Zod. Yeah, okay, like that was, yeah, no, that's no, that's no bueno. That is no bueno. They try their best, they try their best, but it ends up being, it's a losing cause. And then young Barry not learning his lessons, like, wait, I know, if you time travel back here, because- Let's do it again. Yeah, because uh huh, because both 89 Batman and Kara are supposed to die in this timeline. But young Barry keeps going back and forth, back and forth. And then you find out who pushed. Remember, I said at the beginning that someone pushed Flash out of the timeline, right? Right, yeah. come to find out that was a variant of himself, of the younger, of the younger Barry, of course, that was saving everything. Going back and forth, back and forth, trying to make sure. Trying to uh, fix one thing and mess up something trying else. Trying to make sure Kara and Michael Keaton Batman don't die. Mm. He kept going back and forth and back and forth, back and forth, back. And he's like, you know what, Barry, I pushed you out the timeline to start everything, to start the paradox. Wow. So come to find out. So Flash ends up fixing the timeline, sort of. Because the main thing is he could never figure out why his dad was charged for what he did. That's what Charles because he was talking to his dad. That made him go back into the past. Right. And he inadvertently was like, the only reason my dad got charged because he went out to go get some some groceries for the mother. Right, right, right. So Barry's like, oh, I know. I'll just go back in time and make sure she has the 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 item she forgot the at the grocery store. Right. And that started everything else. And he wow. didn't he didn't realize it. Like he actually almost destroyed the multiverse like he really almost destroyed all of dc quite literally that's crazy when you get to well the, yeah shoot once you get to the climax of the thing you start seeing multiple timelines and multiple variants a lot of variants of certain people and you guys are cool with spoilers right yeah so this is the Easter eggy part of the movie. So when they start to reach, try to fix the timeline, we get can we get a George Reeves Superman cameo? We get an Adam West Batman cameo. We even get Nicholas Cage Superman. So remember that room back in the day? A Nicholas Cage Superman? That's yes. crazy. Yes, this is how bad. This is how messed up the timeline has gotten at this point of the movie. This is wild. So you get Nicholas Cage Batman. You get George Reeves. I mean, George, yeah, George Reeves Superman. You see a cameo, and yet no Arrowverse. Again, I don't know. Maybe I missed the Arrowverse one, right? But, but I know DC movies and the Arrowverse had beef, so that might be that might just be a case of, of two studios beefing with one, one, one another. Right, right. So honestly they had which i don't like i want to see the movie again just to see maybe i missed the arrowverse easter egg maybe i missed it uh-huh but mm-hmm. that's crazy well shoot yeah no that thank you for that review because yeah i was definitely gonna wonder yeah. how that was gonna look because that yeah the look. end of the movie is like barry fixes his his dad is found innocent but when he uh-huh. goes back to his timeline his Batman is different. It's not Ben Affleck Batman. It is George Clooney Batman. That's Bruce in his timeline. And that's the Oh, so they brought all the Batmans oh, back basically. Pretty much. So okay, so in in that particular in that instance in that particular piece of it though, I would personally and again, I haven't seen it, but I think that they would have been better off putting in Robert Pattinson's Batman in there to end it. Which then that would have linked it to the newest Batman that they have moving forward. I can see that. I can, you that see what I mean? Because we had a young Barry, a young Batman. I see what right. you're going. Right. So that would have been my thought process on that, though. So, But that's just me. But I think Gunn said he wanted to do his own thing. He didn't want none of the... With his DC universe, he doesn't want any... any he didn't want to cross that Batman over. Uh, keep that as his own 
you could. I think, I think he said that in the interview. So. But my main thing, I had brought this up to you guys in the group chat, is I was thinking how long they maybe had this script because the way Ezra was acting, mannerism wise, kept making me think of one person. And I think I mentioned this to you guys in the group chat. I'm going to mention it here too. It kept reminding me of Justin Long the entire time. I'm like, why is Ezra acting like Justin Long this whole time? Like Justin Logan accepted, like he was that nerdy, quirky type of dude. Like, right. and I can easily see, like the way, if you look at the way Ezra looks, right? This Ezra Miller himself, the way he looks, right? And then I'm gonna put these two images up here. Give me just a moment here. Okay. Look at these images of Justin Long. Oh, damn. They do look alike. Holy crap. Tell me that that does not look like the dude from similar to Ezra Miller. Yeah. Holy shit. I didn't know they were the guy from Accepted. Accepted was a yeah. great movie. I love that movie. I don't give a I own it. Here. That's yeah, Ezra that Miller. Oh, my God. I own it. They it's definitely, it's definitely nowhere near an exact, but there's the similarities. Same, they have the same body type. They definitely have right. The same body type. And from what you're saying, person, if the quirks and personalities, because we all we grew up with Justin, you know what I mean? We grew up watching him in movies, and so his quirkiness, but he could still be smart when he needed to be. If they've been planning this for that long, it's possible that they had looked to scout to scout him for it. It would make sense because I mean, Man of Steel came out what 07? Uh huh. Except it came out what 06? If you think about it, 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 it the timeline yeah. kind of matches up. It kind of lines up. So then you yeah. would have had a Justice movie with Affleck, him, Cavell. That would have made a lot of money. That would have made a right. lot of money back. Say this came out like 20, 2007. 07, 07, that was when he was back in, uh, I think he was in Die Hard, Live Free or Die Hard, too. Ooh, maybe so he that left was the thing that, that got released. Maybe he left Flash to go do that. I'm just saying. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. We find out years later, like, yeah, Justin was supposed to play that originally, but we the script just took too long. And with a lot of these DC movies, there was a lot of development issues. Yep. Scripts, especially I, back then. I just got across from my hand. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised that it was supposed to be him, Justin Long as Flash. Yeah, the fellow Superman, yeah, Batman. You could have did a just movie with those three. You could have like, did you know, it with those three. Yeah, like, uh-huh. I don't know who would I don't know who would have been Wonder Woman back then. Okay. But would you have had Wonder Woman in that movie? I mean a uh, Batman Tim, Flash Tim, Superman Tim, movie as a dawn of justice. At that point. No, you probably would have still been working on Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, something well, to think about. Something to think about though. In line with that, to kind of push push it forward, let's go to something else then, and we'll kind of start wrapping it up here with this, but let's push it to something that's coming out, and we'll see if the errors <laughs> that they made there will be duplicated moving mm-hmm. forward. Um, so we heard of a couple things. One thing we heard of was this coming in 2024. We're supposed to be getting this new... Avatar live action coming to Netflix, and these are supposed to be some images from it as of right now. Um, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it personally. It's a patch I, I don't know. The other thing that's supposed I feel to be like coming away. Is this right here, and I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it rock. Can y'all hear it? I was say was a kid. Yeah. yeah, I figured that was going to be So, I'm setting out to follow my dreams. I'm going to be king of the pirates. All I need is a loyal crew. And I think together we'd make a pretty good team. Make it bigger, bro. We're heading up to the Grand Line. I don't like it. I don't like it. Get on that stretch of ocean with bigger islands. Oh, the VK though. Bigger pirates. <laughs> Careful 
with that? I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. What is that? We haven't sailed together for very long, but I know we've got each other's backs. I don't like his voice either. All when fighters call out their finishing moves. Now they go. Hey, hold on, hold on. Okay, voices. No. I gotta hear. Right, wait, 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 wait. No. I give him a C. It's average. Is, but I gotta hear everybody else's. But the animation so far is getting B B plus for me right now. The C King itself was definitely that was eight. That that was no, that was eight. That that was the one that was the one that bit off Shank's arm. That looked dead on. Yeah. That looked good. I it's gonna really it's the I think it's really because we're looking at East Blue. I think it's gonna be how they do his rubber abilities. Those that, effects, I, want, that, I was just about to say I want to see him do gun gun gladly. That's what's gonna turn it. That's what's gonna make the, the point there. Um the other thing that's gonna take into it, the the sword fighting from Zoro that we saw looked legit. Like the choreography from the sword looked legit. I want to see I Sanji's kicks. I did I watch his workout it. routine though, that they I found somewhere, and it was him working out and like practicing his kicks and stuff. The dude is legit. I will give him that. So it's gonna depend on the choreography. I think um, his voice. I can see Luffy's voice becoming annoying to me really quickly. That not gonna sad. lie. Um, in a, in a nutshell. It, well, sir, listen. I don't hear nothing from you because you don't watch a dub, so you have no say. So it's not Luffy. Who it. have no say? So you when you don't watch what a dub. Is <laughs> on, on, this is, wait, wait. Only on no, the you don't watch a dub. Because you don't watch it, dub. I don't give. It's not. It's not. It's not the, it's not it's the similarity. My goat. No, listen to what I am saying. I hear what you're you say. can't. You can't I grade it. Care. You I can't grade it because of the voice. You can't grade so. it because of the voice because that's already it's just because it's dub. Goat. Just because it dub, you can't grade it because of the voice. No, you can't. because wow. you can't, not even that cannot be a a <laughs> His voice is horrific. Not horrific. It's not for it's the just, character. Not it's not, not for his voice. Characters. Not horrific. Like how you're supposed to say it. It's horrific. <laughs> <laughs> A mess. But um, that it looks was it, it looks good. What was the that Nami? Ill. Um, that was like the original like, Nami, though. Wait, wait. You you got you, you got to understand. <laughs> One Piece is an anime where the women are very over-sexualized, sir. First of all, I don't... I'm not talking about the titties. No, I'm, but Nami it's not the titties, was no. not, though, if you think What was it. that Nami ill? Like, now you see the concerns I was saying before the show. Like, yeah. Her actress... I, I Hopefully she got better right. as they went but along. I, I would give them... I'll give them a B on the Sanji. I give them... A I think Zoro's gonna get an A. I think Zoro's gonna get an A, bro. I give a C yep, plus for Zoro for now, but I'm I'm grading extra harsh because Zoro is my number one character. So based on what I've seen, I ain't seen enough. I haven't even seen him and I mean in this movie yet, but I already know I think Usopp's gonna be my favorite character this Usopp, movie. Was. I like how I they did saw him. That was a D minus. You saw him and gave him a D. You didn't see him just now. I ain't, see, I ain't see. I ain't see it. It wasn't. What was it wasn't that Usopp? The Usopp was almost as bad as the Nami. No, nah, I will nah, give say you that. I I'll give it. you I'll give you the Usopp. Usopp. What? Show the Usopp, bro. That's Usopp. Nah, that that one look yeah. alright. They showed another that that right there when he get you ill. What was that? He can't. You can't. Okay, you can't add anything to a slingshot shot, bro. Like there's Come not on, much no, you can do. He, no, the way he look in the shot. Nah, bro. see, he he's I gonna overgrade it, bro. 
Yeah, he's you, feeling you're overgrading. overgrading, bro. That's Sweet why. I, that's why I'm song. trying to tell y'all. That's what I'm trying to say. I got to listen. But Usopp, I would give I, you. I, no, that I'll, Usopp, I'll as of this. now, I give you this. In that I'll first joint, the first plus. joint where he was on the ship, it looked mm-hmm. like. But that next, the slingshot shot, he don't look Usopp ish. I give everything a C plus. Right is, it, now. is it because of the nose? That too, you gotta have the nose. Okay, bro. Listen, yeah. we knew they was but not gonna be able to give him that nose. It, we knew he this. Just don't look Usopp ish to me. When I look at him, I don't go, yeah, that's Usopp. Are you trying to make him look like Nina Simone in that documentary? Or- the Zorro, I was like, okay, I could see the Zorro. Even with the Luffy, I could kind of see the Luffy there too. His voice though is gonna kill me. His voice, I already know his voice is gonna kill because I heard it and I was like, that's not Luffy. Shut the hell up. But the what? actor, the actor is Spanish, so you might just the be here in a Spanish. Nami is so bad that I'm scared. To see the Robin. Thank God it's East Blue, so I don't got to worry about that. Because I'm going to tell y'all out, the two things I'm scared of. Robin, I'm coming for everybody. I'm scared to see Frankie, and I'm scared to see Chomper and Brooke. I'm not scared for Brooke. I Brooke, feel like they're going to do Okay, it. I'm going to say this. I'll say this. Frankie, like yeah. Brooke won't be too Brooke, it won't know. make it past East Blue first. <laughs> I don't think it'll make it past East Blue unless, and hear me out on this, unless they're following the story. And I mean the story, it has to hit those high notes. By high notes, if y'all don't know, okay, I think one has been out long enough. Right. That's gonna make me throw up. Well, hold on, hear me out, hear me out. I don't think we have to put a spoiler alert up for East Blue at this point. If you haven't seen it or read it up until this point, I think it's what just going to be a spoiler go- for you. So, commit seppuku? No. <laughs> no seppuku. No seppuku. No seppuku. We do not promote seppuku. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> we'll get to throw a bar. But in East Blue, one, the way they did buggy, I like it. Mm-hmm. I want to see how they do his power. Go commit seppuku. That's going to be, I think if they do his power right, buggy will be a redeeming piece. First off. Will be what? Second, buggy will be a redeeming quality. If I like how they did right. Buggy. If they do his power right, the way he did oh, was A1. Uh, right? If they do the scene with the mayor and the dog. Yeah. When Buggy was attacking the town. Yeah. If they can bring the emotion into that, I'll it'll be A1. It, they're supposed they to be going right, through though. Nami's actual and I need to the straw hats. Hold I on, hold on. The mount, is, the, the scene where the mountain hunters come and, and mess with them. That that's what I'm saying. That's where that acting part is gonna come into play. That's, but I the other that. part is gonna be Arlong. That's gonna be the other key piece. Because it's so you got three you got do it, bro. four key I'm pieces. You. you got four key pieces. You have Kobe. Kobe oh, and Oveda, right. you have that, right? You have the right. Zoro and Halimpo. There's that. There's um, Arlong. Arlong, right? There's the dog and the mare when they're fighting Buggy. As well as, don't forget, Buggy's crew, he had the lion tamer and the acrobat on yep. the unicycle. Yeah. So those fights are what I think those fights are what are going to be like key pieces that even if the rest of this, like I said, as of right now, the way it looks overall, I will go from C plus to B minus overall from what I see just from that clip. C minus. C plus to B minus. The only reason I say the B minus part is if they put that much money into first, you have to give them credit for the backgrounds. Mm-hmm. You have to. The Barardi, the Bariati looked amazing. That's why they you got the C plus. Um, Mary looked amazing. The Going Mary looked amazing. The Sea King, downright astounding. That Big was A plus A, a plus quality right there. That's why that was like that was Thanos snap quality. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
And we all know that there is there's enough things in the One Piece world that they can CG like that and animate like that to bring that level up. You know what I'm saying? They got to do it. But the question is just we won't know until we see it. Now, Oda keeps saying, we keep hearing that Oda saying he's not going to let it release until it's got his full stamp of approval. We it heard that that last um, release that they did, the entire theater said it bombed. Like, I did hear that. But they're talking about in August. They got two months to polish it up. Now, I don't know how much polishing they can do in two months. They can't. You know what I mean? Like. Other than leaving some stuff on the floor and some stuff from the floor back in, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's really just going to depend. Um, the Zoro, like you said, I think he looks legit. The Luffy looks, he's got it. His voice, I'm not going to say it's not a Luffy voice. It's I don't like his voice, voice, period. It's I'm not, not going to lie. I, it, like Luffy's voice is already nasally and high pitch in general. You know what I mean? Even the English dub version is kind of nasally and high pitched. That's Thanks, bro. I I don't like the way. I just don't. I don't. He ain't um, got the tone, bro. Yeah, like there's don't. something now when he snaps. I want to see what happens when he gets pissed. If he can get that gravel in his voice when he gets pissed, that'll make up for it. Right. You know what I mean? Because Luffy has that growl that he gets. Yeah, when he gets mad. So if he can get that at least, it'll make up. Okay, you know what I mean. Understand that. Sanji, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I've seen his his practice stuff. Like I, I watched Sanji, the Zoro's practice I can stuff. Get Sanji. I can Sanji and Zoro, Sanji and Zoro are definitely legit. Those I think we're legit. good there. Um, the only other character Sanji is, 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 was, is, is was keeping it together know. right now, and so far, the Zoro look decent. But Listen, I, I, I know I'm gonna too. judge the D, the the Zoro heart because Zoro's my like yeah. favorite character. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Everybody who has favorites are probably gonna judge their favorites more harshly than others. Yeah, so I, but, I know I'm gonna I mean Zoro and Sanji Zoro are probably heart. the most liked characters in the show outside of Luffy anyway. Mm -hmm. Across I, the board. Zoro, I got Zoro over Luffy. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, I'm saying across I'm talking about the majority of the fan base yeah. though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so they had to do those two right. Nami, Nami's a little I, concerning, I but I don't know part one Nami that well. I'm not but. worried about Nami. I'll be honest. Oh, the only reason I'm not worried about Nami is you got to remember, this is East Blue Nami. East Blue Nami was a jerkwad. She was. You know what I mean? So but as long she, as she has that cat burglar persona. What she plays, especially towards the end of East Blue, she plays a big part in the character development. True, but that's why I said it's going to depend on her acting, not so much the look. Both. <laughs> just like we were not just so okay, good question. Look. Good question. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you right it? now, if we go straight looks, it's an F. <laughs> quick quick that question. Nami was go ahead, Jack. When is Scott Pia? Is that before the end or after East Blue? That's after East that's Blue. Way that's after, that's way after. That's way after East Blue. Bro, listen, I skipped Scott Pia. Leave me alone. You skip. Why? <laughs> Get off I, my wait. stream. Get off my stream right now. First of all, <laughs> Scott Pia is where we meet Eno. I hate him, but that's the lightning. Come on. Come on. First wait. of all, don't broadcast want... my government. Don't you. <laughs> That, we can, we I didn't watch there. this. I didn't watch the series. I watched the movie. <laughs> okay, but like I know exactly what happened because don't, don't I, act like when you I don't come to Atlanta enough, <laughs> Mister. You don't broadcast the government. He said you don't. We broadcast the government. That's what we doing. <laughs> we broadcast the government. Oh, okay. Man. Like I'm not gonna be there soon. Wait, matter of fact, isn't somebody coming to visit me because I'm moving? Uh, oh. oh, you want to see me in my mess. backyard? I love oh, you. Okay, y'all are a mess. Oh, okay. But um, I the reason why I asked is because I'm I'm just I wanted if they're gonna do a cliffhanger so they can set up, I wanted to be after they get over the mountain, like they're going up, getting ready to go down the mountain, and then they just go to black. Kind of how they so did Spider-Man. Go all the way to the red line. 
Yeah. I don't think they're gonna go that far. That's not gonna go that far. I don't think they're gonna go that they're far. They're gonna go to Arlong. And they're honestly, finish Arlong I don't. Park. I don't think they're gonna do Arlong right. I've I, okay. So I thought I had seen something for Arlong, and it looked legit. Did it? I'm gonna trust you because I didn't. I ain't seen nothing. Let me Arlong see if I can find something here. Give me a but second. I just. But, I hey, just, I'm gonna go. Oh, uh, Waddle I, said, "What's up, y'all?" I don't see oh, it. Hey, 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 how's it going? Let's see how it's going. Oh, um, bless. I, I will catch y'all. We're thing, gonna be on next week. A big thing is gonna we be will. how they how they deal with the. Uh, I'm gonna oh, try. Man. I will be in New York, upstate New York. Uh, if I do come through, I'll be on here. Roll. It's about to be eight thirty. It's, it's rolling around eight thirty. Well, my time, so nine thirty, nine forty, y'all time. So it is time to kind of wrap yeah. things up. <laughs> <So let's go. laughs> We've been going for a minute. I'm gonna go real quick. I know, but I love y'all. Happy Father's Day again. I will catch y'all next time. Right, you as well, what? sir. Have a good one. All right, Ace. All right. I, I got to see how they do the Kobe art. Kobe, you got to remember, Kobe is, is young Kobe, so he ain't got to be yeah, the good Kobe. But that part, like, I'm not Kobe himself, but that The emotionality of, of it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that, the Kobe part of the art where Luffy's on the boat, yeah, with Alveda. Plays such a significant role in what happens in Luffy's character development and story. Yeah. Remember, because it really all spawned. Everything spawns from that. From Kobe, yeah. It, it spawns from him getting the fruit and, and, and becoming close friends with Shanks. I don't think they're going to show that part. I know they not, but I'm saying like Luffy's story itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. It it, it comes the three biggest thing to me. Mm-hmm. The three biggest thing that shaped the person who who Luffy is mm-hmm. is his upbringing with Sabo and 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 Ace. Okay. His his relationship with Shanks as a child when he gets the fruit, what Shanks mm-hmm. means to him, and the whole. Like trying to be a part of Shane's crew. And right. then when he's on that boat and he meets Kobe, not necessarily Kobe himself, but that the situation that happens mm-hmm. when he meets Because Kobe. of that. Right. And I feel like. Because technically that includes Zoro and everything else. Right. So I feel like those three components play a, like the, the shaping. Of who Luffy is and what he becomes, I can see that. So I need, I need to, I need to see. I, I don't think they're gonna show the the Shanks part. Maybe they might show the part where Shanks loses his arm, or whatever. And yeah, like, that's definitely gotta happen. Fruit. Clearly, that's. But you gotta happen. show where he gets the fruit. <laughs> Yeah. But I think I remember hearing somewhere they're not going past East Blue. So I'm not, like, so you guys know the early One Piece a little bit better than yeah. I. Yeah. Right. But I mean, if they got all, all the way up to Sanji. I'm assuming that's probably most of East Blue or the majority of East uh, Blue. Arlong, which is Nami, is actually the end of East Blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I got a because that's, that's her, her. Like, why you find out why she's being a dick, basically. Gotcha. Um, and so it's because she's trying to, you know, save her people and all that jazz. So, gotcha, gotcha. Probably just. Um, they'll probably just get into that, but I know I was watching a YouTuber earlier and they had an interesting theory about the live action One Piece. Like, maybe they're trying to make it for a younger crowd, probably. Maybe crowds of you know, a lot of people with the biggest critique with One Piece is they can't get into the art style, so maybe they're trying to get it for a different audience, perhaps, might be another mm-hmm. case, too. Because, I mean, the Zora looks good, Sanji looks good, Luffy. I'm surprised they were able to get Luffy with the biggest because I'm like. What could you find to be Luffy? That was my biggest concern when they announced it. Like, how right, do you find right. how do you find someone that can embody Luffy? Like, that's a tough character. That's a tough acting job. I just thought about this too, though. In doing that, they're gonna have to bring in Jerma because they brought up Bar- they brought the Barati into it, right? Which is Sanji. How much of I guess how much. Because in East Blue, you get snippets of people's backstories, right? Not not a lot, of course, because it's you know how One Piece is, but it's still snippets of the backstories. Like uh, with Sanji, how he was on the ship, how Red Leg lost his leg, 
right? And mm-hmm. how they were stuck on the rock. Yeah. You know, beforehand. Sanji's how much of that are they going to so show? Sad, are they going to show Red Leg? They, they won't. I don't think so. I think you see I what I mean, a, though? I think I have an idea. I'll run it by you. Maybe, like I said, we know this is one piece. We know how it is. Yeah, but you know how certain TV shows those like start at a certain point and then will flash back and then come back full circle. I wonder it's if possible. Go back because when you see the trailer, you see the scene of them all on the barrel. Mm-hmm. What if that's like the start of it and then like I don't do you remember how they did Avengers Earth Mightiest Hero? Remember how they did that with the flashback? Oh, so like they just flash. They started at the end of East Blue. And, and then flash back to back. the beginning. Exactly. That makes sense because the, the end of the East Blue, when their feet were up there, that was how they kind of ended it after everything was done. So ending it with that, jumping back to the beginning and coming back to that point would be cool. I mean, that's definitely a way to do it. Like, I, I just it just popped in my mind just now because I remember because I remember seeing a lot of people say, "Oh, that was a good scene." They, they put the so a lot of people talking about that barrel scene, like, "Oh, the barrel, the barrel, the barrel, the barrel." Mm-hmm. That, the barrel is part of the Kobe scene. Okay. No, well, there's two. Which it depends on which one we're talking about. I'm talking about the oh, one with, got, with their foot on it, with well, their feet on it. Yeah, yeah that that's was, not the Kobe scene. Yeah, they didn't show the nothing. One? The one. Well, you don't remember where they put their feet. On the end of the bear, on the barrel. Oh, right. I'm, yeah, I'm such a this is what I want to be. Yeah, that. That's what I think they're gonna do. That, okay. that's what I think. They're gonna do. Like you say, uh-huh. I'm Luffy. Like you see them then, it's like you flash back, and then the next up will be like, my name's Zero. This is how we met. My name's uh-huh. Nami. This is how we met. Usopp. This is how we met. And Sanji. This is how. We met. I wouldn't be surprised. If it's like four episodes out of whatever the episode count is. I want. I'm, fact, yeah, I'm, I think that you know what that's a good thing. That's a good question that we have not talked about or we haven't even looked into is how many episodes are they talking about doing in this? Because think about that: if you do twelve episodes, right, of East Blue, oh, it's a series. Yeah, this is a, this is a TV show. Yeah, it's not a movie. No, no, no. it's a TV show. No, uh, uh-uh. they have a better chance of doing good then. Right, and that's what I'm saying. It really is going to depend on the episodes. what the count is, because they're going to have to be our shows. Period. Like yeah, that's a, a day to. one. Like, but if I'm you thinking- do an hour on each person, on each of those points that we're talking about, that could easily be done. You know, it could be. But they like, got to do, do an right. hour. The first episode will be an hour starting off going into Zoro and stop in the middle towards the end of him fighting with before he fights like the general at you know what I mean with Kobe and Halimpo and Zoro right before he fights the the, the general right there with the axe arm mm-hmm. um and then go into the second from there but that means you've already done Zoro stuff well they got his going child to... Luffy eating the gum gum fruit no maybe this is how you do it like I said, I'm just going by what I a little bit of one piece I know but I'm thinking, like I said, with the barrel, that just seems like the iconic way to do. Like you do the flashback, you do a flashback and flash forward. So you might do maybe the first episode is Luffy and Zoro together. So you get the uh, they get the I barrel. Don't, I know what you're saying. I don't think they'll do that though. Oh, Not like I said, you got forward. like you guys know the pacing a little bit better than I do. So I'm just going by what I'm thinking. You know, the back how, yes, like how I would do it, and I think that's how I would do it personally. That barrel seems to be important. That and it was, we're just gonna get those characters. We're not gonna get Chopper, Brooke, Robin. We're not. That's season two, maybe even. Yeah, season they'll two. eventually do that again because they do it every so often. That scene comes back. Okay. The show. Okay. So, so. It's like as they get more characters, there's another one that's similar to it with the newer characters in there. Okay. Okay. You know okay. what that, I mean? That's yeah. good. To, then that's probably what they're gonna do. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how they're editing this because that's the way I would do it. Yeah, I can all, see that. You got five characters. Like I, said, like I said, you guys know the pacing better than I would. Um, if they give it 12 episodes at an hour apiece, I think that's enough time. I think it'll be pushing it, but I think that's enough time. Less real mug. We appreciate you. Thanks for the Hey, follow. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for swinging through. Yeah, that, yeah I, I mean, that's, I, that's the way I would do it. Man, that's the way I would do it personally. Just Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't do it. How would you go? I don't want it. <laughs> Obviously, we know that, but just... You say you just wouldn't do it at all, huh? 
Yeah, I don't. You know how I feel about live. Like they did okay with the Kenshin. And so the, I will the, say this: the full metal it, wasn't. It wasn't disgusting. horrible. I mean, it it was okay it for was, what it was, but it was for what it was. It was. It wasn't just a tolerable versions. It was are, tolerable, are better. but like I just. I'm not really a fan of animes being live, like because it, it doesn't, especially okay, so one that's, that's been understandable. around that's as understandable. long as this. What if we flipped it? What if you flipped it? What if you had a show that was live, act, like a live show, right? That went anime. Would that be more acceptable? I feel like it's easier to to animate things that started live than it is to make something animated live. I see what he's Why? saying. I, I see what he's saying. Because, because animation, you you can physically make it happen the way you want it to. Mm-hmm. You can't... Con- you can try to mold human reaction, but at the same time, it's human reaction Mm -hmm. you can't like a computer is literally made to do what you want it to do specifically what you want it to do right but a person is a person it can try as hard as it wants to do what you want to do but it's it can't be guaranteed that it's going to be the exact way you want it to be if if that makes sense i think let me let me try okay maybe i can Spin it another way. With animation, there's no physical limits of what you can do. What a series hey, like One Piece in partic- about Emerald. And that's, that's and in particular in particular when it comes to appreciate One you. Piece or animes. A lot of animes, like some of the stuff you can get you can get away with in animated form, you cannot do live action. Okay. But, okay. And I think that's what Vocab was alluding to. That too. I get, no, no, I get it. I definitely understand it. I just like I said, this is this is more of just a, a, a question of you know what I mean? What 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 makes you feel certain ways about it? That was all. No, um, I'm, I'm not I'm not disagreeing. Also, know. I feel like turning I feel like when you want to do like an animated, not even just anime, but animated, so like a cartoon or whatever, animated series into live. I feel like it's something that should happen. Early, not obviously not first season, maybe not even second season, but like towards that beginning, like when you have something like One Piece, which is at a thousand sixty-three, I believe was the last one. It might be sixty-five now. I haven't uh-huh. watched it in like two weeks, but call it eleven 1, hundred episodes. Okay, and then now you're like, oh yeah, let's try to make this a real thing it's like you kind of can't mess up at all you could you kind of play with things when they're in the early phase and then somebody might be like like look at what we did to them over sonic sonic is decades in the making as well yeah right like look look at what we did to them though they put something out and we Got to see it before they finished, and we was like, "No, nah, we not accepting that. No, that. We got to do it over." And they did. They did it over. And now look at it. It's good. It's great. Sonic was lightning in a bottle. It's spot. right. It's they turned it from something we hated to something. Now we're like, "Yo, I ain't gonna lie. They they killed it." So Honestly, yeah. no, I agree. It's like, you know, like I'm, when you get to certain, I feel like certain things should just shouldn't be touched. No, and you, and you got a good point. You got a good point, Vogab. I'll throw it this way. Certain anime, certain series, depending on the setting, I think the settings are also right. That too. We, we mentioned Kenshin. If you look at Kenshin as an anime, it's pretty simple to do that live action. Right. Another, another anime I think would, I think I got two, one anime, one manga that I know would. Hey, Monty, work. thanks for swinging through and thank you. Thank you. One, and I thought about this too, seen in One Piece. You know what right. anime, you know what anime I wish could get that treatment? Black Lagoon. Give me a live Ooh. action Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon live action would be Black amazing. I, see, I can see them doing that. 
that's something I can I can see them pulling off Black Lagoon. Another one. I'm so thinking. you're thinking more so. You're the saying set. more so the concept. If it was more down to earth, real life, day to day, not super powered, right? Right. Okay. But if it, it was something that that transitions more smoothly, exactly, okay. and that, that's what you were trying to get to, go okay. Right. Like is 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 what it is. What's the concept of this show? What happens in the show? What's the character? Plus, there's so the biggest thing about. I oh, never <laughs> The biggest thing about One Piece is the is the story and the character development. And uh-huh. we love the, the, the devil fruits and what they can do. But with with every devil fruit we get, we didn't get a backstory. Yeah. And the yeah. ones that we don't get a backstory for, they at least give you a little something, like a little. Like okay, well, this is how the fruit. He got the fruit, and and right. he did with it. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like so, it's, yeah. Like, it's like when you have situations where it's very strong story base, you right. gotta deliver, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they do, they do, so and it is story. It's, it is definitely a story thing, a story, um, lore, lore building. Yeah, it's definitely the you key. Got, That's why I said it. Got to, bro. I give it a C plus B minus right now, but it depends on how they do those lore. Like I said, those key points are gonna make or break it. And I, if agree, they can't, I agree completely. If they I can't agree. hit those, it won't be another season. Like you right. know, we'll, no. we'll tear it apart. Oh. Not at all, we, <laughs> I'm gonna be the number one. <laughs> okay, we're having a YouTube <laughs> channel just <laughs> dedicated to no. this. Okay, well, right. Well, first of all, let me tell you. Netflix is like seventeen dollars a month at this point. At this point, man. So, man, I'm not. And they and they cut off your password. Seventeen dollars so. a month for you to mess up my favorite. Dr- like, nah, it's not. There's, there's lines that have to be crossed. It's there's not. Lines be drawn. <laughs> there's a line. There's a line that has to be drawn. But there's a line that has to be drawn in the st- What would they do with the stick in the sand? Cross this line <laughs> if you want. Cross this line if you want. But, so, Bonnie, yes, we were talking about One Piece, but the general conversation is live action shows and the adaptations. Listen. What makes a good premise for a live action show to be generated from it? Yeah, like let me let me put it in your context. How would you feel, Monty, about a live version of Sailor Moon? There is one. It's and how did they do? It was in Japan, so I don't know. Ah, see, well, if the if the Japanese are doing it, it probably is CGI. Probably mm-hmm. But going back to what I was saying, um, the other series I think would work live action, even though it doesn't have an anime yet. Sakamoto Days, see? I think exactly. that would be good live action. You didn't like it. I, I I think that would be good live. action. You said Sakamoto Days. Sakamoto yeah. Days would be a good one. I can see one. that. I can definitely. I can see, see that. that. Or and, Where the House Husband. Oh, yeah. No. Now, Where the House Husband has one. It sucks. Or oh, does? Oh. It you said sucks. it sucks? It sucks. I believe it. Horribly. What about, what about Spy Family? No, no, they can do that live action. Okay. Spy Family I think they could, could be no, done. Spy Family, I think they could get away. I think if they got done. the right child actor. Yeah, that's the key. As, as actor. Whoever like, plays her has to do right. They don't, actually. They don't. Here's well, why. see, there you go. Here's why. Here's why I don't think they do. As long as the kid's a good a good actor for a kid, I think it'll be fine. The problem sure. is not going to be the kid actor. It's going to be whoever's doing her internal monologue. Ooh, yeah, well, that's that's, I, I count that as a part of it because that's But the character. kid's not the one doing it, though. That's the thing. You got to remember, it could be anybody voicing her internal monologue. Ooh, yeah, well, Just I, like so you're doing... Um... Her character. I, well, let me say that thing. Her character. Yeah. How yeah, they her do her character good. is going to make yeah. a break. The show. Yeah, just yeah, yeah live just action like Japan so- in the nineties. She said, "Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. they if they redid it now, it's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna fly." Personally. Right, right. This one it was a recent sale. Maybe that was for Crystal. Never mind. I might be thinking this like the Saint Seiya movie that's supposed to be coming out. I'm not looking forward to seeing that. I'm, I'm not. I'm not at all. First I'm- of all, with Saint Seiya, 
is so hit or miss to me. I have, because you know they do a different version of it like yep. every other year. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I think they're at like nine now. And out of the nine, literally there's like two or three that I'm like, oh. And the rest of them, I'm like, eh. Meh. Yes, yeah, so some people want to keep trying. You, you, you know that, but the yeah. one, I want to say is the second one they did is my favorite of all of them. I want to say it's the second one. The Zodiac. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, the just, second one, right? I think so. I can't remember. I'll double yeah, check that, it later. So, but yeah. that was my favorite one out of the ones they did because the way they did it was was like it was just. Great transitioning. The story mm-hmm. was good. Everything made sense. That's like you, with it, a lot of, of yeah. Joke, you said, do not mind me. I'm not sober. It's it's I'm okay. Me neither. That's the best. That's the best version of you. I'm not messed I'm up, but I'm <laughs> probably no. But yeah, I'm it depends what when it goes. Mind. But when you go from animation to live acting, there's like a lot of risk to take. Yeah, so. I just feel like you know. One piece, like, like said it, it's like one, when. It's like when they take your favorite book and turn it into a movie and mess it up. Harry Potter, I see. Because that's, as much as we love to praise them for the ones that they did right, like Harry Potter and... And, uh, and even with that, that cut out a lot. And, right, and James Bond, like... Hunger Games. There's so many. <laughs> they they so- Oh, how, so I gotta yeah, ask so. this then. I gotta oh ask this. Oh my god! Okay. Do you feel that the reason that most of these have failed to date, and this will unfortunately, it plays into our bias at this point because it, it's a bias at this point that we we've, we've been dealing with it for so long. Sex. Do you feel we're finally at a point where our graphic technology has met the stories that we're writing? I believe so. You, you can even see with video games. I think even graphically, video games are reaching the apex. Like, I I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you my honest answer, and it, I don't want to say it's biased, but it might be. Okay, Maybe. okay. Cool. So y'all, y'all tell me if y'all think it is. Okay. But as a writer, since we all literally all we all right, yeah, we <laughs> we're all, all right. Is right. So, which is why I can be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all be able, y'all will be able to figure out if it's biased or not. I feel like. What hurts them slash what would make the transition from book to movie or or even show better and why it's such a hit or miss is how much say so the author has in the final production. There you go. I feel like the ones who fail the most are the ones where the author like gave them the rights to make the movie and then they took the characters and did what they wanted to do with it. Mm. And it's that. And then the ones that where the author was there, like, okay, I, I rock with this. I'm giving you the approval on this. You did represent my character properly. Da, 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 or the mm. ones that were like, yeah, they did that. So I feel like that plays such a big role in the transition from book to movie or show. Okay. And likewise. And I was actually going to say, because Monty said yes and no. She said, like, the CGI in Little Mermaid was too much. And I can understand that. There, mm-hmm. there is a, there's a fine line, I think, with the amount of CG that we have available to us. Right. And what should or should not be added. Like, um... Uh, Avatar, for example, the the blue Avatar, Avatar the last Airbender that's coming. No, the blue no? avatars. The blue avatars. Okay. The blue avatars. Yeah, like yeah. that movie. I think the line in the first one, right? The first one, the line that they had between the humans and mm-hmm. the Avatar, the people, the Navi. Right. I, that was a good balance. Yeah, I I, I like the first Avatar. You know what I mean? I think I that was a was really good balance. A great movie. Uh, she says CGI in Wakanda was amazing. Exactly. Exactly. So, that's right doing there. It. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly. And so, like, and I think that's the I thing. Agree. Like, I agree. Marvel movies have definitely gotten to that fine line, and I think that's what's pushed them ahead in front of people too. Is one they have the budget for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One. <laughs> that's Two. Big 
they could they have the creative license to do as they feel that they need to, mm-hmm. but they have I think they've got that fine line down to a science at this point. Pretty much even Morbius. Like I didn't really like Morbius, the movie, but A, it it held to the storyline. I still ain't watching it. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not a bad one. This is what I heard. I just, remember, remember when it first came, we heard all negative. Yeah. And we was like, oh, they're going to mess it up. But then I think you saw it first. Yeah. And you told us, like, it actually wasn't as bad as they said. Not as bad as they were saying. It's a one-time no. watch, though. Right. It's not a real Yeah. It's just, it's just a pacing. Like, we, I think we all said when we were talking about it originally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a pacing issue. It's so a, it's it is. The, real, the big problem is pacing. So I still need to see it, but I remember. But the way that, that they gave that him wasn't his as vampire. Bad as what everybody yeah. was saying. Exactly. Like, yeah, the way that a, they did his vampire powers merged. I like it. I like, I like the idea. Good. Oh. Like, I like, I like what they yeah, did with okay. more idea wise. Like, there's some good ideas there. Oh. Don't yeah. give me it, it, was definitely a, it was a placeholder movie to like okay. springboard and other stuff. Mm-hmm. So I see that. it was definitely that was definitely there. Um basically they were setting up for Sinister Six. Pretty much. Mm. They're setting up for that because you see Vulture in there at one point. Okay. Right. That's so, gonna come back. That's, that's good. Yeah, we'll they brought that in yeah, at the I end for Vulture. Yeah, yeah, so, so that sort of situation, but that's what I mean by like I think it's like I said, that delicate balance. It is it. a delicate balance for yep. sure. And like, I feel that if we if we had more books, I think if more of the bigger budgets took chances mm-hmm. on some of these books, I think they would come out better. I think we need to write a book. Honestly, I think Panda has a point. I'm with you. I'm gonna go back to the flash. I'm like, I'm looking at some of the CGI, and I'm like, I uh, but the main thing I can think of. I kind of wish the CW got got or the people who did the CW version, the regular got, Flash, right? <laughs> I wish they could have got the movie budgets. I really wish, like, I really, oh wish. yeah, I really wish, like, they could have got that. But I understand, you know, TV, TV is a different animal from yes. movies. I get yes. that, but it's right. like sometimes you wish certain people could get the creative freedoms and juices or get the tools that they really need to, yep. really, you know what I mean, like the really, to really judge it up, as like, I say. <laughs> judge it up like we're talking about adaptations and everything this is probably a whole nother topic but maybe we can end it off with this point but no, certain yeah. Adap- yeah but certain adaptations certain things it just depends on who's doing it the budget the money who's in charge who's like you get you can't have too many cooks in the kitchen we get something like flash right or maybe right. have or maybe we have just enough people in the kitchen we get something like the One Piece trailer we just watched. So you might get it. It's a balance. It's definitely a delicate balance. That's true. That's true. It depends on who's and I, in I definitely agree with that. Um, yeah, I definitely agree with that. I, I, I think DC needs to hire animated writers for the live action. The animated writers for the live actions. I don't... I agree, but I don't think it would matter. I don't think it would matter. Because it's the higher ups in DC. That's the issue with the. I did not right. know right. Yeah. And I agree with Monty too. Some of the, especially that last cinematic movie verse, was a great idea. I don't know if Gunn's going to use that, but that's a great idea. It just depends yeah. on what they want. Like, like I said, it depends on, like I said, too many, either too many cooks in the kitchen or you just have to have enough cooks in the kitchen. It just Honestly, I, 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 some of it I think is pride. That too. Like these directors, you know what I mean? Like they they feel, oh, I know this works. And I understand the safety of knowing a certain thing works in the movie. So continuing mm-hmm. to go with it. I think James Cameron is notorious for this. You know what I mean? Like a lot of his movies have very similar outlines regarding like how he uses the CGI and stuff like that. The way the Avatar went. Um, what was the other one that he did? Um Did he do Titanic? Think so. Hold on, let me see here. We'll pull up his what? What'd you say? Break. Yeah, he did Titanic. Uh, James oh, Cameron, okay. Titanic, Terminator, Judgment Day. Yeah, uh, yeah, July, they do kind of have the same flow when you think Aliens in the Deep, Avatar. They've all got a similar vibe to them, and like it's 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 the cinema. It's it's how they capture the movie, the cinematics of how that individual director. That's what makes them who they are. Right? right, like that's their niche of why people pick them to direct their movies. They want a certain 
cinematic look or approach to it. Right. Um, I feel that they lose the writing. So, okay, there's a couple pieces. One, as a writer, we have learned or we try to learn to write, to show, and not tell. Right? You write it to where you're, they can infer the emotion of the scene versus actually writing what is transpiring in it. Right? To get, get the reader engaged and caught into, into the storyline. On the writer side, then you have the directors who are trying to do the same thing from an image side of everything, but they're taking out what we're trying to get. Oh, I'm trying to see how the rest of the word this. They are inferring what we've written and then inferring again. Does that make sense? Right. It does make sense. So it's like now we're trying to the it's like it's like twice removed from the original writer's intentions on the scene. Because hold on, what am I, am I saying? I think this writer strike saving majors as a king. If they have, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something that probably happened. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. That, that may give some people some time to rethink some of the things around that. Yeah. Um. Gives, but yeah, James, like it, it gives James Gunn more time to cook because I think he's also. Gonna, I, I yeah, uh, I think he's gonna like I said, I think DC's in good hands. So I'm like I said, I'm, is DC in good hands though? Oh, Shaniqua just said the same thing, folks. <laughs> I, I heard her in the background. <laughs> I didn't hear her, but I did. She was like, they are. Oh. Compared okay. to what they had, yes. No. <laughs> I mean, I feel they might be in better hands than what they were. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to say they're in good hands. I'll be honest. I got to see it. I got to see it, bro. Like, we'll, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it we'll really see. is a we'll, we'll see, see situation. Maybe I'm just being, maybe I'm just being optimist. I mean, it's. James Gunn sucks. <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> Man, that was my lovely fiance who said that. Hey, there you go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. He, I believe he has the ability to do better. I will say that. I think. I think for him, that that pride statement I made earlier. Yeah, he's boy. one of those that gets caught into that a lot. I feel. You know, oh, I can do this. Because that was the issue he had with Marvel. It was a pride thing. And that's why they let him go. So. Marvel's going to like get down down. Yeah, Yeah. him and Feige, that wasn't going to (laughs) rock. Like, Yeah, they like, um. Dang, I had a state property reference and I lost it that fast. Keep going. Ah. Ah, State (laughs) property. You talking to me, my boy? (laughs) <laughs> you talking to me, Mama. I lost sorry, it that fast. I lost it that fast. Nah, it's all good. But it's not even New York, really. It's Philly. But hey, we gonna hold it. <laughs> but we rocking it. We, we gonna rocking. hold it though. <laughs> it's it's the same era. We get it. Right. It's, 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 right. We all similar up there in in that East Coast Northern area. Philly, Philly can come to the cookout. Put a Guess up for Boston. Boston. Philly, Philly can come, come, to, Philly the can come to the cookout. They're gonna Boston bring the steak. They're gonna bring the chopped cheese. <laughs> right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Sure. Wait, but is anyway. mommy still here? Because she might hurt me after I said. What she say? She said, "My issue is DC director." Okay, so I don't think she heard what I said. Material. Although I do stand on it. <laughs> See, that's a problem. Uh, anime, uh, anime people are having the same problem. Like everything can't be. Close to the source material. That's the problem. Is it never is, bro? I mean, we're just no, talking about they the say it's close. They but try it's to not. say it's close. There you go. Okay. Yeah, no, but it's not there. like uh, it's they can. Not, you can say bro. it's close. I guess my thing is this: like, that's like the cop out phrase they have. Yep. You know what I mean? Well, listen, they they get the rights. They take the characters and do whatever the hell they want with them. Prime example: Witcher. Ooh. Yeah, 
That is a prime yeah, example. example. Oh man, it's a great yeah. example. That's a prime example. When you have when you have one of our king nerds saying, "Nah, fam, I'm out." It's a problem, what my that? guy. What is that? Like, how did you fumble the bag that bad? Like, he where he was so like, bad. "I'm good." He was he was winning for y'all. He was literally winning for y'all. Big he was, friends, bro. And y'all had like, so many opportunities because The Witcher got books. It got yep. video games. It, video games. And you got to like, yep. oh, come on, bro. Yeah. How yep. you fumble that? You that got director. Superman saying, yeah, nah, I'm turning this down. Yeah. That's that That's that pride we were talking about. That's yeah. that pride. Because they feel that there's, they can, they feel that they can, and I'm like, y'all are not writers. They're, You're clearly. directors. You are not it's writers. Not, bro. Like it's, it's, it's low key disrespectful. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, like if you have an actor that wants to stick to, to the sword, to the writers out there. Yeah, to the writers. Yeah, but if yeah. you have an actor that wants to stick to the to the, if that's what they oh, want to do, you gotta follow hold up, me. Bro. Hold up, bro. Hey, vocab. That's for you. <laughs> that's why you. That's why you misspell Floridian. Cause I'm not one. It's Brooklyn over here, homie. Uh, he said I did, but I thought a Floridian said something. Right. Dang, never that. Caribbean. At, Somebody at needs a sense of being right. Okay. It's Caribbean <laughs> Brooklyn over here. I just um, live in. Y'all Florida. might, y'all might the Don't get smash or something. Right, Don't I'm gonna need y'all gonna meet up and got, So y'all gotta meet in Atlanta at Battle and Brew and hash this out. <laughs> Like, <laughs> don't get it twisted. I just live here, homie. Uh, but I'm sorry, Rod. Go ahead. Um, yeah, like what I was saying. Oh, wait, the adaptation part. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like we've been talking about the last couple of minutes here. Just like certain, it depends on the source material, the directors, the ego, mm-hmm. the pride of the writers, the directors. And honestly, I think that's what. Come to think, that might be the big problem with DC and to, to except Marvel is some of these directors have their ego. Like mm-hmm. Eagles not stroke. Look what happened with Snyder. I mean, I have to bring the Snyder yeah. couple up, but honestly, a, we been, already know how everybody feel about all the Snyder. Yeah, guys. yeah. So I'm like, like I'm just casually mentioning, but Snyder that's another. Guys. That's another ego. Oh, I gotta though. piss real quick. That's another <laughs> ego thing. Just, that's another ego thing. But yeah, or in case of too many cooks in the, like hopefully, like I said with James, hopefully DC just let let him be the big cook in the kitchen. Don't don't just be. Like, don't put raisins in the potato salad. I like to use that. RP cherry. Yeah. Bowl, that's a good one. Don't put raisins in the potato salad. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we'll see. You couldn't get any. Wow. Wow. Damn. Mean. Just we need rude. we need Monty and Bo got to settle us in tech in. <laughs> I'm gonna need no, I'm gonna need them on the same show one day. That's what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need both of them on stream together one day. <laughs> Yo, I'm here for this. Right. I'm just going to sit in the background and just watch. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I mean, that. I think that's that I think is a large part of what we've been talking about. Everything we've been saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is whole a, show a keeps, large uh, part of that. We go kind of wrap. Yeah, it, come, it comes full circle from what we were starting with um, with the voice actor, with the Spanish voice actor passing, yeah. the, the yeah. movie reviews and everything like that. It all comes down to People need their ego stroked, unfortunately. Then the wrong people who don't get their ego stroked. And we then they end- want to end everything or move it or change this. Or I yeah. mean, I mean, look what I told you what happened to um the Batman, <laughs> the Flash. Well, we went from right Michael, we went from Ben to Michael Keaton to end with George Clooney. Like, how the hell you pull that one off? <laughs> like, honestly, right. honestly, that like that was a mind because I like I didn't even recognize George Clooney. I was like, I'm like, I know him, but I didn't know him. I'm like, where do I know this dude? Yeah. And then Shanique was saying, I was George Cohen. I was like, oh, he looked yeah. old. Like, they made him look old. Like, you can tell he's his age. Put it to you like yeah. that. I yeah. was like, oh. I, was like, I mean, I will I'll, I will say this. I will, I'll, I'll, I'll drop it at this. On that note, you said they brought in Clooney last? Yes. I pray if that's what they're doing. Leave Clooney as the last one because they can't use they can't use Keaton because he's an MCU, right? right? So I don't think they'll be able to use Keaton for a full Batman in anything anymore. 
cameos one thing but you know what i mean i don't think they'll be able to do a full movie with him if he's doing that vulture stuff with spider-verse and all that stuff right Mm -hmm. right however bringing in an old Clooney as old as old wayne and then bring somebody in as terry mcginnis you know what i could see that happening we're gonna we're we're due for we're gonna old that one at this point. <laughs> we're gonna old that one. I we, mean, I think we we're about due to see a Batman Beyond Terry McGinnis. I'm just saying. And so I think having Clooney as an old version of Batman, I they could do worse. He's probably the oldest version we have outside of Keaton right now. True. You said not until DC proves themselves. That, that is a fact. That's a good fact. <laughs> Monty's not lying there. She, I, I do, I, I co-sign with that one. DC has to prove themselves. Like this could have been, this could have been their end game if they had the right, if they didn't have too many cooks in the kitchen. But again, again, yeah. I think, I, I you know what? And honestly, I, I'm wondering. And again, this is just the side. I'm wondering if. Flash would have felt better overall. And again, I haven't seen it yet myself yet, but from what, just what you told me, if it wasn't, if it didn't have the cloud known as Ezra Miller. I'm thinking, it. well, Monty, to answer your question, no, he just comes up as a cameo at the end of the movie. That's it. So Clooney just, so he just comes up as a cameo as Bruce Wayne at the end. That's it. <laughs> so no, he did have that suit, didn't he? But you do see other Superman. You still live. There's, there's still, yeah, there's still some other Superman or Batman, but that's it. Yeah. At least my still... Yeah, because you still live in the Northeast. Yo, I no. live here. <laughs> no, that's a red flag right there. Dude. I, gotta, uh... I gotta drive, my girl. Like, what are you talking about? Red flag. I gotta use I'll a red flag. Red a car. <laughs> Blow your whistle and throw your flag. <laughs> flag on the plane. <laughs> Uh, she played <laughs> Monty, leave him alone. He Damn. didn't do it. It wasn't us. <laughs> now she good. She, I mean, she right in that sense. Oh man! But I'm not a Floridian. I, mean, I got a Wisconsin ID uh, now too. Monty. <laughs> I did start it. He started it. <laughs> yeah, I he did. always starts it. That's know. because as a New Yorker, I could never, I could never be Team Boston. I just, I can't do it. <laughs> oh no, we're going back to this. Oh no. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. Season's over. I did start it. I did. I made a slick comment. <laughs> he did. And I said Boston is not invited to the cookout. <laughs> oh man. And I stand on what I said. He said he stands by it. He just pulled the Nini. I said what I said. Okay, Nini. He did. What I said. (laughs) He did. He did. Well, anyway, we appreciate y'all swinging by. We're going to go ahead and wrap things down. This is our first three hour show in a while. So that was good. It has been a little while. It has been Been a a little minute. So, but we appreciate it's been a while. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Yeah, so just. Um, Appreciate y'all swinging by. Like we said, we're going to try to make sure that we keep our schedule regular um, from here on out, at least for the rest of the year, until at least until the holiday season for the end of the year starts. Mm-hmm. I will say that. So come like right. November, December, things may slow back down. But um, we are going to try to make sure we maintain that, you know, our time slot here, 6, 630 start time um, and rolling from there for you. Uh, even if it's just gameplay, one of us will be up and going That's and up right. here, kicking right. it with y'all. So. Feel free to jump in and and uh, say hey. Uh, definitely appreciate everybody's input with the conversation, especially this whole you know writers thing. It it's good to have the creative juices flowing, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, it's good to have those type of conversations with people. So uh, appreciate that. Hope your week goes well. Again, to all the fathers out there, happy Father's Day. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Hope you got the grill out or somebody yeah, grills for you. Try to get at this New York Buster. Oh. Don't you do it? No, that's oh, another. Wow. No, that's another. Do it. No, wait a minute. Wow, money went a in. Don't she pulled you the do car. First of all, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got to hold on. It was not a one-sided effort. 
Holy G skillet, okay? Flex Don't you do it to yourself. Play. Right, <laughs> and it was the New Yorker side. Hashtag support the writers. Support the writers. Oh, I appreciate that. Yes, oh, hashtag always. support the writers. Always, always. We always. gotta write something. Hey, let's let me know when, where, how, and why. I got, right. I got a, literally. Hey, we I did, got it. We did that that one uh comp- collaboration poem. We killed we them with that. So we did. That was good. Yeah, but all of us need to do so because we all right. This is true. So this the is four true. of us need to write something. I don't know what. Look, I got background ideas for days if okay. y'all want to like search through stuff. So right, I, I, mean, I, 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 I have a whole bunch of fucking just. <laughs> random it's like we all got prompts, I'm sure. Right. So prompts just I mean, I got ideas. I just need to edit on my ass. That's all I need, honestly. Prompts is, prompts is definitely not gonna be our issue. That's true. Prompts. This is true. <laughs> prompts is not gonna be the issue. Now, figuring out which of the million prompts that will be the conversation. That might be <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw this idea out. Y'all, what I'm like, okay, we need to get All right. I thought of an idea of like an alternate take on New York with the samurai motif, like an era basically in the 80s where instead of guns, people were fighting with samurai sword. Certain blocks in Volk, you'll probably appreciate this. You know how we had back in the day, certain blocks had like the murals and everything. Right. So what instead of the murals, it was just like people's swords after they got killed. Oh. Like memorials? Like, yeah, the sword, like certain blocks. Like, I'll use one of my favorite hangouts, 13037. That's why I grew up at. Okay. So okay. let's say you go towards that block and then you see like the line of swords. Like, you show all the people who were, who rep that block or rep that area. Their sword uh. is just in. Oh, you know what that remind me of? Oh, there's an anime that I oh, want. Of course, it's, there's an anime for it. There is an anime. <laughs> Panda, you know, we watched it together. Which uh, one? They just finished the second season last year. Uh, with do with the red hair. Remember, he was he was poor. His his parents died. He got adopted by an old boy who was a samurai. And the, the oh sun. um yeah, yeah, yeah. you oh. know what I'm talking about, bro. I am, I am with the crystals, the crystal swords. Yeah, with the crystals, and he ends up having an old girl inside of him, and he can control all of the joints with it. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Hold yeah, on, give me up. a second. Give me a second. Give me I'm a second. Pull it up. Let me go to my. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm gonna have to scroll through the watch list because it's. it's just last season ended like a whole year ago, Loki. <laughs> so I gotta do some scrolling, but uh, you know what I'm talking about, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find him here. Off. Uh, this should be the hurry up and load, bro. Yeah, but like my idea is like instead of guns, if maybe, I didn't hit it to load, then we then I can find it. Yeah, quick. like my idea was like maybe guns didn't take off after World War II. People, um. What back swords? People started sword fighting again in the seventies and eighties. Okay, I, I, I got my thing right, up. right. And so I don't know, like it was a random Orient, thread. fucking Orient, bro. Yes, Orient. Orient. Yeah, but it's like a code. It's like you know, like like so. You know, he had like the drug clothes and everything in the eighties. So like it's like they adopted kind of like the samurai bushido type of code. Like like you okay. defended your hood, you defended your block. Like right, legit. Like you had like you know Harlem was broken up like like one forties, one thirties, one twenties. That's the way I would do it. Bro, I'm from yeah eighty first, baby. Yeah, thirty third and seventh for me. One thirty third and seventh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's me. So the question would be then, what would be the thing coming in that would Young. unify all of it? Gentrification. Gentrification, bro. Let, let right, me tell but you, how would you? How would you not know? the Brooklyn that I left. I'm dreading going back to New York again this in a couple in two weeks. I'm I'm regretting I'm dreading it. I know left is not the Brooklyn that is there now. I'm 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 scared to go back to Harlem. I'm scared to go back. I, I didn't go last time. We just you stayed in Midtown. But nobody no most of the people I know no longer in Harlem. Yeah. None, none of them in Brooklyn uh, no more. It's, it's, like I might take I might take Shiniqua to Brooklyn. Maybe we'll go. Check out something, make some food areas, but I, I don't know. Like I'm from right. off the L, um, bro. 
Like I'm a two two train, five train kid, six train kid. <sighs> I don't know if I can get on the subway to go that far up. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, but nonetheless, like Times Square is still Times Square, but I don't know. Harlem it's Harlem's gonna depress me. I know it. I know it's gonna depress me. I'll probably go see my cousin. She still lives in the projects, but other yeah. than that may, yeah. Yo, big facts. Yeah, I don't want to go by my old dumps and ground like 133rd and 7. I know that's different. I, I know it. Pan Pan's not there anymore. Shit, you know what? Let me stop right here before we go. Oh, we be another 30 minutes. I'm going to stop right here. <laughs> well, that's All big right. fact, bro, because it's it's not what it was, bro. It's not. Like, even when I left six, seven years ago, that's when they started. I don't know if they still don't do those stupid double decker butters in Harlem. I thought that was racist, but that's another, that's another conversation. Oh, wow. Okay. I felt like they were just having white people safari watch black people. That's just my honest opinion on that one. Oh, uh, oh, uh, well. Uh. I'll leave that be where that is, cause yeah, that's, yeah. Let's let's just stop right here because yeah, that's the first one. If you if you get us to start talking about New York neighborhoods, <laughs> that's, another, that's another hour at least. Yeah, we're gonna need some drinks. He's asking about what's the name of the big sneaker store. Which one? Jay's. Man? Dr. J's? Dr. J's? You took the one on Flatbush or Nordstrom? That, no, Dr. J. B. I. No, B. I. M. Yeah, not yet. Because is it, and the last time I was there, it was two stories, but I heard they added another story. Word. Hmm. It's closed. They said. closed. Damn. It. You know what? Damn. Damn. Dang. You know what I also heard about? They changed up Jamaica Ave too. I heard some crazy things going on with Jamaica Ave too. I heard. Oh, they closed out Jesus Christ. They, I know Allen's Caribbean shop better still be open. Wow. <sighs> you know, most of the, I wouldn't be surprised a lot of the hood spots we knew got 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 eviscerated because of Corona. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't See, and that's the thing. A lot of smaller shops they could have easily got hit with because of COVID. Uh, Bro, half my collection is from Dr. J. Like, she said she went over there and that was her reaction. Yeah. Yes. That hurts. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like that's that's actually physically painful for me right now. So, yeah, I know once one as a as a as somebody from Brooklyn, but also as a sneaker head. Yeah, like that's that, yeah, that's go that, that, that shook me. That shook me painful. Like I'm actually in pain right now. That is wow. That I think is, I need a drink. That's a shocker. I think that's I, right. I need another one. I've been drinking this whole time. I'm gonna need to get another one now because of that. Yeah. How did the hell? I know they changed 125th. I know my cousin was selling me that Burger King. That ratty ass Burger King clothes. I'm like, the fuck? I'm like, how do Burger King clothes? Yeah. Even yeah, it's something even about seeing things, adult, seeing your childhood disappear. Speakers like that's. Oh my god, bro. That's. Yeah, like that's I gotta how, tell yeah. my parents and see if they know. I mean, my dad probably knows, but my mom probably doesn't. Damn, that's they close Doctor J. Yes, that's what? wild, bro. That's crazy. Damn, bro, that's rough. That that like physically hurts. Yeah, I'm, that like, physically in pain right now. That's like anime betrayal. That's definitely an anime betrayal. What's Happened up? recently. Oh, recently. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So even my dad probably don't even know you. So he may not know yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. They probably, you know what probably happened? Money probably. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised they got, they went, probably went too high. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably went. I wouldn't be surprised. Bro, oh, I yeah. That definitely is a possibility. Because I know I was keep, I do keep up with New York news. Of, okay. I don't know if you heard about this, but they're thinking about raising, you know, they have to rent stabilized apartments. They were thinking about a 7% jump for the next, yep. for them stabilized. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. 7%. Like, I'm like, the seven percent in Yo, New York, sex, bro. That's not nah, like this shit physically hurt. Bro. Now, now, now it's fight mode. Now we in fight mode at this point. See, yeah, right? legit, bro. Because that's like, why? Like, what's even the point? Like, you're not doctor. making space for somebody to move. Like, like I was doing a car repo recently in New York. I looked at my notes. I'm I'm on the verge right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, just... I know you said you went, so like I definitely couldn't yeah, have seen that it. in person. 
And then somebody, yeah. And yeah, I would be like, what the hell? Yeah, that's. I'm dreading going to one two five. I'm dreading going to one two fifth. I'm not going to lie. I'm dreading. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That might physically add another year to like the next time I go up top. Like that's like if I come back here and I have more gray on my beard, just know I just see some shit in New York. That's what happened. A big fact I already know. Like, like we should probably all go as a group one day to New York. Probably I'm with it. I, oh, I definitely. Put my family there and shit. So yeah, just that's wow. R.I.P. Doctor J's. God, yo, for damn. real, like that's. Yeah. Shit, oh, I'm, that's rough, bro. That's I want to. No, one, one, two, fifth, probably going to. Shit, it probably. Oh, fucking god, god damn. Fuck. Damn, that's crazy. You killed Doctor J. All fucking stores. Man. My sevens are from Doctor J, bro. An Apple store in the middle of Flatbush. Wow. I believe it. What white? You know what is Gingerbread Brooklyn? I can't even say what white nonsense is. This. I, I believe it. What next? They're gonna put nope, that's already. I'm gonna think we're gonna start on one two fifty. That's been there for over 20 years at this point. <sighs> wow. Well, for today, try not to think too much of it. I'm least. I'm not gonna I'm definitely about to make me a hard, bro. Like yeah. I've been drinking this beer and, and stuff, but like I'm when we get off, bro, I'm definitely about to pour me like some liquor. Yeah, a splash of ginger ale. Shit, I think I'm a, shit, I, yeah, I don't yeah. blame you, okay? Shit, you I'm know, it's crazy that you said that, Monty. My mom literally was at the store the other day and saw a pack of handballs and bought them and brought them and was like, Yo, look what I got. We gotta find a court. No kids playing. Literally, I'm talking about like in the oh, last man. week. What the just fuck? brought a kids not playing. Pack of what the fuck is going on with the world? That's no. crazy that you said that. Kids fuck? don't know what handball is these days, bro. I love. Let's handball. start there. I play, and you talking about child? That's our childhood, bro. I yeah. remember in the back nah. of PS two seventy six, Lewis Marshall. My that was my elementary school in in Brooklyn, off of uh, seventy six. I want to say. Uh huh. And we used to play handball during lunch. After yep. school and before school, we get there early, bro. Oh my gosh, bro! I played handball a couple of times. I was at the basketball courts. I never. I used to watch people play handball, but I'm more of a basketball court person, honestly. We played on the basketball court too, as well, because it's this. You all you need to play handball is a wall. That's literally yeah, it. True. It don't matter where you at. If you got a wall and enough space, you can yep. play handball. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, maybe want to go. Maybe want to watch Peyton Fultz right now. I just played at, at my parents' last house too because they, in front they had this little like balcony area, but it wasn't a balcony. Like it's so more of a porch. Mm-hmm. And the way it was set up though, like you had the garage wall, you was on that other like the wall of the garage was the porch wall, so like uh, you had a decent amount of space. To, to do play. what you want, and I used to play off that wall, bro. Like, come on, man. I'm gonna ask my cousin the Dr. J's on 125th, though. I'm gonna ask her tomorrow when she get off work. I'm gonna ask her tomorrow if that Dr. J's is open. Man, like, they, they close up all the classics are going that week. Our is long. I see what my parents went through now. I get it now. Shit, I get it. Yo, I'm trying. It's crazy, bro. It's fucking crazy. You know, man. like, we not old, but we also not young, bro. So it's Nowhere like, near. Watching, We're in the middle. Watching our childhood, like, not fade, but, like, get slowly taken apart. Yep. Yep. Because they changing the things. That, like, it's just. It's, yeah. it's, it's rough. It's rough, bro. <laughs> you know yeah. what it's like? I'm going to use this reference. We'll probably end it off here. I'm like Mitch and Peter Fo. We need some love. Like the love. We need to go on. Right, some love. bro. That, that love is gone. We need that love. Thanks. That love is gone, man. Thanks. We need that love. That love. The love of what we knew was gone. I need, like I need to be somewhere. Be I need to be out with that. With that. With that love. Like remember I used to that in the movie. I so. hope so. I hope they don't get rid of the Macy's. Now nah, Macy's is fine. I mean. I would be concerned if they ever close the Macy's in um, Park Chester. That's when I would be concerned about it. Yeah, anything. listen, when Macy's go, you know yeah. shit is bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, like I'm not a Jew. Love guy. you too, Monty. Love you too, Monty. Stay black. Oh man, this just stay black. Yeah, shoot. Respect. We gotta stay Don't black. Get gentrified, Monty. <laughs> Tell them why. Gentrify you. They're gonna kill our city. Ain't oh hope that God. Jay's ain't no love in the heart of the city. Tell you that much. Gone, bro. I, I don't want to start anything, but y'all know me, so I gotta say it. something. Go ahead. So I'm not from I'm not from the area, so that's why I, for y'all y'all normally know no, I, you I, didn't have I, I talk a lot. I'm right now, you know, <laughs> I, t- I talk a lot, but I don't know the area, so I don't speak on things I don't know. But they didn't but I do, me. I'm still me. But I do have a question for y'all, Brooklyn, and this okay. is more so for people who lived in the area. You say they took what we had from us. I think a question that may need to be looked at, and I understand why you say that because that was your childhood, right? So yeah. it makes it that was that was what you lived through. That's yeah, your yeah, lived yeah. experience. I guess my question is: Did they take what you had, or did they take what they messed up and gave you? Wait, what? Say it again. Did they take what you had, or did they take what they had messed up and gave you? Ooh, I gotta sit, I gotta sit on that one. That's it. Yeah, you know, don't have to be today. Just something you know. What I'm saying for people who live we, in the we area, might have to to circle back. About, we, we might have to circle yeah, yeah, back yeah. To that another one. day, it. another time. But yeah, no, nah, they took what I had because because yeah. I had it. So even if they messed up. I had it. Whether yeah. they did it on accident or on purpose, I I got it. I had it, and you yeah. took it. So it's gone. Like the memory, yeah. the memories, the memories in the heart. The memories me, are gone. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. gave me the ability to experience that, and now right. you took away the ability to experience it again. Right. Like right. I always have my memories. You can't take my memories from me, but. If but I wanted to, be able to bring your if kids, I wanted back. to go visit next right. month to go cop another pair of sneakers, but I wanted specifically to get it from Dr. J's, I can't do that now. Right. Yep. It's you like, know what I'm like so going like, to Harlem. Like I could probably walk by one thirty third. Hopefully, Allen's is still there. I could probably go by one thirty third and seventh, or even Seventh Avenue or Lenox Avenue. Shit, go by Lenox Avenue. Only thing there that's probably still there from where I was getting is the damn McDonald's. I don't want to be fucking surprised. I wouldn't be only McDonald's is up. Pan Pan gone. <laughs> Shit, Pan Pan fucking gone. I'm sorry, no, I just got a text message. That's <laughs> but well, technically I got it 40 minutes ago, but I, I'm now seeing it. Wow. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. My brother in law texted me before <laughs> before we went right. on the air. So yeah, LES I trust all day. LES all day, baby. Call them and BX all day for me, L-E-S too. LES like, all day. Yeah, just it's Brooklyn though, baby. Come on, some Flatbush. Canarsie, though. That's that's where I rest my head. 571st. Yeah, 571 East 81st Street, Foster Avenue. It's tattooed on my rib cage. That's what's you up. Know it's fading because ribs hurt. And I can't get it. Because ribs hurt. Because <laughs> ribs hurt. And I can't get it done. So. I mean, I can, but ribs right. hurt. Right. <laughs> so, right, money says, I got to see how my, how my mom grew up in Lower East Side and see her childhood. She said, but my future children won't see mine. That's and I can definitely text. understand. Yeah, that. that's the heart. Yeah, that's the heart. That's the part. That's yeah. Apex, bro. That's yeah. I've seen where my parents grew up. Yeah, I was, I'm like, I'm a Harlem kid. Like, area I grew up of, if you've seen Who's a Man, you've seen Juice, you see New York on the cover, that's the New York I grew up in. Yeah, that's, I, grew that's, up, I grew up around the Jews and the Russian, and, and the obviously in the Caribbean. Right. Caribbean Brooklyn is undefeated. Like it is. It they gentrified. Yeah, and they, is. And they and they right across the street was the fucking Russians. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, right across the street, bro. Like if Caribbean Brooklyn oh, is gentrified, that's it. it. That's it for New York. They done got Harlem. They're getting the Bronx. If they get Brooklyn, Caribbean, that's it. So, something has to be done, goddamn it. I don't know what. Yeah, man, something got to be done, goddamn it. I hope Allen is still there. Thank you. I'm sure they are, but bro. Yeah, I could probably show my uh, that's yeah. I like I I feel physical pain right now. Yeah, like 
Yeah. Here, that, here and Dr. J's is going with, with Dr. J's being gone, bro. Like, that's yeah, that, that's rough. That's, that's a rough one. Wow, very rough. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry that that, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry. I will say, like I say, I don't, I can understand the premise yeah, and the thought like, behind it. Yeah. You know, I personally don't think I'll ever have to go through that. Thankfully. That's thankfully. Yeah. But yeah. not thankfully as well, because yeah. you, you had something to tie to, if that makes sense. Wait, you know what I mean? Do I have something to tie to? So New York, East Coast in general, has right. a rich history right. with us. Okay, right? so yeah, if you're going that way, based on yeah. like the history right. of the coast, the Midwest, uh, right of the area, yeah, Midwest right, definitely still, doesn't have as right. Much. Midwest doesn't have West that type of a strong. Although right. we, even South got more than. West right, Midwest. Chicago, you got Chicago. Right. You got right. Chicago. Y'all got Chicago. Yeah, that, that's really Chicago, like y'all saving y'all Chicago, saving maybe St. Louis. But we're talking about like New York. Indiana, Ohio, Missouri. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Ohio, like, <laughs> they've got their own little things, but it's not as. I right, well, no, I will give you this though. Bigger than than Ohio having LeBron. Cleveland is the city where I come from. So run, run. Bone Thugs and Harmony is from Cleveland. And and that True. is my all time number one. Even more yet. And and Monty's gonna use this against me. Oh that's fine. But I don't that's how you know you're fine. I have <laughs> Bone Thugs as my number one group. Yeah. Hip hop group over Wu Tang. Wu Tang is, is a strong second, but the Midwest is just for different. me. It is. Bone Thugs is the yeah, best. Midwest is last couple of years. I, I agree. Midwest is a whole different animal. So yeah, Bone. No, don't get Bone Thugs. When it comes to music, just bro. Bone, bone Thugs. Thug, I see. Is, I knew she was gonna say that. I said yeah. they a strong second. Yeah, but bone for me personally, is, is, the, the music that I like, Bone Thugs and Harmony, specifically because of the harmony. Yeah, it, that's my number one rap group. Now, my number one rapper is from New York, but I'm talking about group. Yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony is my favorite. Is my mine personally my top group hip hop group. I feel that. I feel that. Because Cleveland is the city where I come from, so run one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean everybody I mean, got their. I came from. Areas. I came from Brooklyn, but uh, right. You get the point. Right. I get the point. Yeah, but that's all. It's just so in the Midwest they're letting the resources be drained to reclaim it. Eh, uh, I don't exactly agree with that. I don't know. I, I don't have to go. I mean, it was is we, is uh Minnesota considered um Midwest? Uh, uh ooh, yeah, pretty much. That's where you at, right, Rod? Minnesota. Yeah. No, I'm in no, Wisconsin. He's in Wisconsin. I'm, oh, Wisconsin, yeah. I, yeah I'm Wisconsin. thinking Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Not Minnesota. Milwaukee is what I was thinking. But, but the, yeah, is but that considered Midwest? Midwest. Yeah, that's Midwest, it is. too. It is, it right? Is. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Yeah, fun fact about, I know tomorrow's Juneteenth, but fun fact, did you know Milwaukee was the first city to do a Juneteenth parade? I did not know that until I moved here. I'm actually not surprised by that, to be mm. honest. Just because yeah, no, Missouri, Missouri of, is one of the last places to adopt all that. Milwaukee, so. That's the thing. So, and a lot of people forget that, like you know, St. Louis and all that. Yes, yeah, cool. Money, but big we facts. are the we were like one of the last states to adopt abolishment of slavery, as far as Juneteenth, all of that. You know, uh, so yeah, there's a lot. In the Midwest, that gets overlooked Word. on a lot of different on a lot of different things. Yeah, so like I say, it's it's good and that and just with my own my own upbringing, like I've got places I've got you know I'm from Indy, I, I was raised in Indy. I know you're from Indy. Yeah, I claim there. 
for the most part. Like I said, I was born born in St. Louis, raised in Indy. Well, so I feel like you want to have somewhere, right? Like there's got to be at least one place from your childhood that mm-hmm. you're like, yo, that was my place. Where my what? home, unfortunately, fortunately, actually, fortunately, not unfortunately, fortunately, because it's it's what made me who I am, and it's what gave me the strength that I have. Right. Um, my my family is my home. Where okay. they are is that. my home. Respect that. Um, Respect it's not so much a a where we where we were, as long as we were together. That was what. As long as I can get, as long as I can get my kids back to them, I'm fine. That. If that makes sense. No, nah, um, we had times where, you know, it's kind of like I wish I we kind of we kind of had that. At times, I do wish that because you, you hear people talking about, it, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, we, we was here and doing this and this that, and the other, and it's like there were times where we didn't have a home, and so. I feel that. You know, we grew up. There were some times where uh, we we dealt with some things where we didn't have a place to go, and so with that being the case, we were who we had, and it was us being together that made the home what it was. Um, And so, as you know, as time goes went on, wasn't for a long period of time, but you know, as time went on, then there was just after that though. But after you experience something like that with your family, it kind of rips that out of your head of a place at that point you know I mean, you ain't never have a, a playground on the end though i mean we did but to me it was just a playground it was a playground yeah no you know, it like was I, it was right no, i am yeah. telling you right now the playground on foster avenue in 78th was not but I'm also the background. oldest so of like, six kids. It's oh yeah, you're probably like that. Oh. Said, I'm the oldest of six kids. Yeah. So I, mean, I my my playground was our yard. Now we had that too. You know yeah. what I mean? It was just our yard and our our, our hoop on the court. Like no, yeah, but it's also built different because in New York, yeah. literally there's a playground on every corner. Yeah, and see, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's, it's also, it's, 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 the difference between East Coast and and right. where I'm so at, too. Like, you know what I mean? We had the same thing, but like we yeah. would literally like just go walk to the corner. Yeah, right. yeah, go to the corner store, walk to the block. Yeah, and I mean, see, the thing is, with that, my house was where everybody came. Like you know, what I'm saying we had the court, so people was coming down the street to uh, our house to hoop and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or going around the corner to the corner store. So it was it's similar, just not in the same. Lane, I guess you could say. Nah, yeah. yeah, for sure. That's that's how it was like when I moved out here. I mean, I was like damn near grown when I moved out here, but yeah. But that's yeah. how it was like as a teenager in, mm-hmm. in Florida. Like everybody came to my crib to play ball and shit. Yeah, we had the hoop yeah. outside in the front. Like I grew up mostly like I grew up with the playgrounds and everything, but one some of my better memories just sitting on the stoop. The school, bro. That's. I'm not gonna lie, but when I talk to people from the south, like the biggest thing that I miss that I'm like, if you could ever experience this, you would under is the stoop, bro. Like when I explain to people, like just you didn't even have to do nothing, bro. Just the boys or even your homegirls, whatever, just chilling on the stoop, talking shit, like. You ain't really doing nothing, bro. You ain't, Shit, that's I mean, not. You might have your little Game Boy or whatever, but you're not even playing the game. But you sitting on stoop, talking mess. You might, if it's if it's summertime, you might be looking down the block. Somebody cracked a fire hydrant. <laughs> you got some. You got a, a, a <laughs> little piece of watermelon. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Went for that block party to start. You just you know what I'm saying? exactly. That's you how know, I Somebody down the block goes summertime at least. Somebody down the block gonna have a barbecue. You are gonna pull up real quick. Facts, Monty. Stupid kid, don't leave the. State. They definitely cracking the fire hydrant. Like that's not even. The- <laughs> or or this how this how we threw down back in the day. Or someone get the cards out. We are gonna be playing some spades on the stoop now. Shit. Big facts. Like you gonna play some spades, some dominoes, some spit. Some oh spin. yeah. Like you might have you might have to no card. You can play some hoops. You don't have to go to the park. Shit. Right. 
it's good times, man. man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like no. sometimes I'm sitting here, I'm I like, still, damn. Like, like I, I literally wherever I go, bro, I carry my backpack and I keep a deck of cards and a pack of dominoes with me everywhere mm, I go. Second, like see, I would roll with you, bro. Okay, you had de- you had spades and dominoes on. Bro, ready? Everywhere I go, bro. Listen, Monty will tell you, like, she came for my birthday. Like, and we, we got a little spot. It was me, her, Jay, uh, Jay Bay, her home, her homeboy Greg, which that my dude, and his girl. And we had a little like Airbnb or whatever. And I kept they brought cards too, but I brought yeah. like, my dominoes and my deck of cards, mm. and I left there with an a extra deck of cards because, <laughs> because my ace. Messed around and brought a, an Avengers deck that was purple, oh, so wow. I had to leave with that. <laughs> Mine's taking it back. Hair braided on the stoop. I had the facts, yeah, the big facts. facts. Hair braided on the stoop. Mm. Uh, yeah, Ooh, that's what oh, man, good. that's one thing I hate. My kids are never going. If I have kids, that's one thing they're not going to know. Yeah, that's facts. They won't get to experience the same childhood we had. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you know, I mean, but at the same time. I mean, these times ain't what they were either. That's facts. Sad but true. All, we, all we could do and is at least make sure that they have a good childhood. Right. right. And it's like, would the stoop have been as safe the or stoop, what it was dog. then the stoop, today? Dog. I'm just wondering. That's a good question. I don't know. That's a good question. I'm not, uh, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. If I ever get to the point to where like, I have the money to build the house that I want to live in, like I'm not buying the house, but I'm building right, right. it. There's gonna be a stoop. Right. Well, right kids, I still live in Florida, bro. Man. There's gonna be a stoop. Man, listen, bring the stoop, bring the dominoes, bring some bring some drinks. We good. Shit. I got I was Please. blessed enough that towards the end of my college career, I met a sadly we fell out. We maybe this year, I can't say recently, but this year, but like 2007, 18, 2018, mm-hmm. I met a guy, we got real close, and he was living in a, a college uh, community, and they had a fucking stoop in front of their house. Every kid. <laughs> Had a fucking stoop with a brick fucking little side Ooh. area. It was genuine New York style, son. But mm. here in Orlando, bro, it was a UCF spot. But he went to full sale, but it was a, one of the UCF a little apartment joints. And so he was like, yo, come to the crib. And when I pulled up, I looked at him in his face and I said, Nigga, do you know what you have? And he was like, well, because he not, he from down here. He from Miami. Oh, they don't know what they got. Puerto Rican dude. Puerto Rican dude. I was like, bro, do you understand? Like, I'm not going home. And he was like, what you mean? I was was like, you welcome here. But he's like, (laughs) right. (laughs) He's like, but what you mean? And I'm like, bro, you have a stoop. And he's like, what? I was like, you have a stoop. Ooh, bro, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go home to sleep, but when yeah. I wake up, I'm gonna take a shower, brush my teeth, and come back over oh, here. Oh, <laughs> goddamn gotta, days! I swear to you God, you gotta stoop, bro. Like, what, you, <laughs> what you mean? Well, we not in class. We, we here on the stoop, right? This nigga had a stoop in Orlando. That's one thing I wish that John had when I did. I've, I've lived in Orlando since two thousand. 2000 or like 99 whatever i've never seen a stoop here until i met this nigga in 2018 damn the nigga had a stoop i said and like i've seen like little like stairs and shit but i'm talking about like a genuine stoop Stoop. like this was right i was like nigga you got a stoop Ooh, bro. With the bricks, bro. With the bricks. That's a Why? Joke. You understand when I say with the bricks. Bro. Mm, 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 mm. With the bricks, bad, bro. I, I said, nah, bro. I said, I'm not going nowhere until he graduated <laughs> and he moved to another place. Then I was like, all right, we, 
be gone. But as long as he lived there, bro, I was at this nigga house like every day. I got off of work, I went to this thing crib, bro. <laughs> I was like, nigga, you got a stoop. One, one thing about New York, a stoop, bro. <laughs> one thing about New York, yeah, we see a stoop. We gonna chill for a minute. We oh, what? Stoop. Listen, I'm telling you, bro. I used to bring the bottles, everything, bro. We was in there. I'm not surprised. I probably be doing the same shit. Probably. Would've... I'm trying to tell you, bro. Man. I see, just... see the nostalgia we bring up, like New York, like New York '80s, I'm '90s. Like it was bro. an era. Like, it was an era. <laughs> if you weren't there, you weren't there, man. That, it's as simple That's as that. Snaggy, bro. Look, me and Bogart are probably going to know three hours with this. Hold on. Y'all a mess. Well, let's, let's go ahead and wind it down. But we, first off, I want to say this. Thank you all. You and Rod and Bogart, uh, I want to thank y'all for shining a little bit of light on like what it was like. You know what I mean? In that time, in that era. Because, again, kids ain't today ain't going to know about that. You know what I mean? If you didn't grow up over there, you wouldn't have known that vibe. You know what I mean? Like, I know I didn't know that vibe. Like, we had we had porches that we chilled on. But, you know, for us, it's the wraparound porch with the rocking chair. You know what I mean? Everybody chilling on type deal. So, it's a different vibe. <laughs> It's a whole different vibe. So I appreciate y'all letting us that peek into y'all lives um, for that. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. So Man, shout out to my audit. Right. They trying to live out their sex in the city fantasy, whereas this our home. Mm-hmm. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, so true, man. Wait, 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 wait. Pull one out for Dr. J's and let's just wrap this up for now. All Don't right. wrap it up yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because I'm, I'm gonna find it. Hold on, I got a picture of it. Yeah. Picture of what? Of the stoop, bro. Oh wow. See, Bo you know what? He's there now. He he's he's his own, bro. I'm I'm there, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm there, bro. I found a picture of the Brits, but I, I want a picture of like the stoop, bro. Hold, give me one. Minutes, I'm gonna get it, bro. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get it. Because <laughs> when you see the, I, it's a specific picture that I'm thinking of, and when you see the picture, you'll understand why. Gotcha. I oh hell no! This specific picture, bro. I just Google New York City stoops, and the first picture I see is a white man and his, and his kid on a stoop. This you is some see? bullshit. I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'm done it's, for the getting, it's, it's getting out of pocket. <laughs> wow. What year did I say 2018? Wait a minute. There's a yeah. Wait a minute. There's a stoop Instagram page. Hold on. Wait, wait, I this. believe it. I definitely believe it. Hold on. Let me look at this Instagram page. Oh no, this is people throwing off shit. Never mind. I was about to say yeah. I got mad hype for no reason. The mystery of Brooklyn disappearance stoops. Ah, it's Jay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just ran into a picture of like the first time I met Jay. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Let me see images. Is it right here? <laughs> Man. Yeah, I'm, do- I'm doing a Google search right now, so damn. Oh no, you're good. Okay, so it looks like I don't have the picture of the picture I'm looking for, but I do have this picture. So I'm gonna just use this picture. Damn, that's rough. But this is this is the bricks part. Oh damn! You don't see those too often. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So the stoop oh, is the stoop is like it would be right here, and there's a picture of me like on the stoop with my feet like on the bricks or whatever. But I couldn't, I couldn't find it. But this is me on the bricks part, and like literally the stoop is like right here, because that's where the door is. Like this is the door, and then the stoop is right here, and then the little bricks. Are you talking about like the short area? 
No, it's steps. Like the stoop is like right. Like five, little four or five steps or whatever. But like, you have the little like uh, what's the? Like, it's not a gate, but like the little hand banister thing too to go. Like, I think I got one. Hold on, I think I got a default picture. Let me see. Shit. But this is in Orlando, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's something like that's that on Orlando. Crazy, bro. But this is what we're mostly talking about. Something like this. Something like that. That's what we're yeah. About. That's that's, a the, that's the stoop. Bro. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's that's a stoop. Oh my god, bro! Man. Why is it not here? Bro? I'm so mad. Isn't it? And sad thing now is most people don't even sit on those soups no more. They don't even know the history, the stories. I don't soup understand, soup. bro. Ooh, and I was wearing the teal fours in this picture. <laughs> I missed those. Yeah. Oh, I missed those. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like I said, eighties, eighties, nineties, and what New York was a was a damn era. That's that's yeah, a sad. Well it's sad with the history and all that shit. They did. They just would never know, bro. They would never know. So people didn't walk towards being close to me. You know what? I'm. I'm not surprised. Oh, the stump, bro. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, bro. Like y'all know. If you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. So I, you know what? I actually didn't know that they were built so people didn't walk into horse manure. <laughs> Learn something new today. What? Yeah. <laughs> Especially because all the stews that I've ever been on was like. On blocks where there wasn't horses around, so <laughs> wow. makes sense. That's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm fuck sure. with it though. Don't don't step into horse shit. That's a big tall shit. <laughs> yeah, what about? Oh <laughs> man, yeah. I'm well, yeah. All right then. Let's let's call it here. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and, and we'll power down. Do you have anything um, y'all want to end the night with? Uh, I'll you just start the week with, I should say. Oh, what you mm, said? Stay black, but um, I'm, I'm on <laughs> Twitch. I'm on Twitch. Um, just follow me. I think tomorrow night I'm going to probably be doing Streets of Rage. Wednesday, probably okay. something else. Friday might be the finale for Octopath Travel 2. Gotcha. Oh, and check out, like I said, check out his Final Fantasy 16 that he did. That should still be up from him, him playing it yesterday, the day before. Uh, that'll be on his Twitch as well. Four weeks. So, Four weeks. Be up there for for that demo, if y'all want to watch it, uh, watch the full thing that we were looking at. So, yep, yep. Other than that, oh, one other thing here. If you do have PlayStation Plus for the month, NBA 2K23 is one of the games of the month. So, if you didn't get 2K23, <laughs> Cop game. Yep, yep. I'm saying cop because it's free. free. That's all I'm saying. It's free. I got it for free. well. Technically, I didn't get it for free, but I got it for like twelve dollars because it came in a pack. They did a sale like in January where it came with PGA twenty three, which is what I wanted, and so I was like, all right, well, if you're gonna give me both of them for thirty dollars, I'm gonna take it because I'm. The, giving me PGA for thirty dollars was to me was a thing. I was like, okay, let's go. Right. I think Marty gonna end that on a good quote. You know what? I mm-hmm. fucks with that. That's a good way to end this. I'm America. I'm the part you won't recognize, but get used to me. black, confident, cocky. My name, not yours. My religion, not yours. My goals, my own. Get used to me. Flow right. like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Happy Juneteenth, definitely. As well, go. happy Juneteenth to everybody. Right, get off on that. Happy Juneteenth, y'all. And what? And, and look out for September when MK1 come out. We 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 in there. <laughs> I already got a pre order. I already pre ordered the game. So. Same. We in there. I'm I'm Kenshi. I'm Kenshi maining, bitch. Understand it. I don't know who I'm maining yet. I said I was like to get into Street Fighter, but like I said, hopefully I finish Octopath this Friday and then I can focus more on Street Fighter and Tears of the Kingdom. All right. Well, like they said, y'all have a great one. Enjoy your weekend. Hopefully, for those of you are off tomorrow, enjoy that. Happy Juneteenth to everybody. Uh, and remember, take some time for yourself. All right. Not just today, but every now and again, you need it. All right. We out. We catch y'all next week. Catch y'all next week.